give us your version or does someone else want to give us the version of the recap? I can, unless somebody else wants to. Go for it. Go for it, Kev. Session one, Heem's a whore. Uh, <laughs> uh, Garm and Ascalon bury a body or work towards burying a body. Let's see. Uh, Khan and Stas search through some of the other buildings and chests, find some fishing gear and some rations, a couple small boats. Um, let's see. There was a young woman under the boat who uh, tried to run off, but we convinced her to talk to us. Her name was Arta. Um, she says this was her family. Um, her father was the guy that was killed. There's, I have some air quotes and question marks around her, what we know about her. Uh, the Rust brothers are searching for the Raven sisters. Um, the Raven sisters are a different sect that believes the Raven was the real religious figure, not the serpent. Uh, the Raven sisters have been in the Raven lands for a long time and previously had made peace with the elves. Sort of like uh, wandering druidesses. Um, Arda, Arda does not look like the dead man or his boy. Maybe he wasn't related to the family that died here. Next quarter day. Let's see. We start planning. Garm takes a nap. Ascalon keeps, keeps watch and we have an event. Um, Stas takes a nap sleeping in the cabin. That, that goes well later. Um, Khan... Uh, looks over and figures out how to fix the second boat and starts working on that. Um, the event, we had some lanterns and lights moving in the trees, which were uh, some rust brothers and a and kind of like a knight-ish rust brother. Uh, let's see. Ascalon casts Hand of Doom on the knight and uses the severed hand, which is consumed in the spell. It's pretty nasty looking, but gets the job done. Knocks the guy onto the ground. Um, let's see. Uh, I was Garm was sleeping out in the trees. Takes a while before he wakes up. Eventually, he calls him a whore and rest her degenerate git um, to get the knight's attention because the knight I think was stabbing Khan pretty good at that point. Trying to. Um, yep. Uh, Garm decapitates the knight. Stas uh, wakes up, goes back to sleep, wakes up again, and then helps fight the priests. Uh, so yeah, so it was two Rust Brother clerics and one Rust Brother knight. Oh, and the horse was nasty. Had like fangs and red eyes and not great. Let's see, Khan shoots the knight in the helmet and shoots one of the priests. Uh, we found some loot. Um, there was a pearl that had some weird inscriptions on it um, and some chain mail, a great helm and a large seal shield. And we kind of divided up a bunch of the kind of other other stuff, a ceremonial dagger. Uh, we finally slept. Passed if uneventfully in the morning. There were storm clouds gathering. Uh, we bury the bodies. Khan works on the boat. Uh, we decide to let the birds eat the Rust Brothers at, I think, Arta's suggestion. Um, and Garm sleeps this time because he kept a watch overnight. Stas goes hunting, kills a boar. And Ascalon goes looking for stuff for spellcasting. And that's where we finished the end of quarter one. Thank you very much. Very on point, <laughs> detailed, um, cut and dried. <laughs> Garm decapitated <laughs> the knight. <laughs> yes, yep. it was bloody. Um, wow. Does anybody remember anything different or, or have anything to add to the summary? Basically spent the day at the fishing uh, shack Searching, burying, meeting Arda, fighting Rust Brothers at night. I think it was it was after dark by the time they arrived and all mm-hmm. that sort of stuff, right? Um, as we as we get, we begin the on uh, you know in the game, day two of your of your journey. I think it's uh, quarter two, so midday. Did anyone not rest last night? I think you all did, right? Yep. Because Garm, you rested after standing watch while everybody else rested. Yep. Yeah, and I rested think, during the first quarter. Yeah, I think, Khan, you had a project to fix the second boat. And I think we talked about needing a couple of rolls, a couple of successes, and and like quarter days spent. And you were successful, so you figured out what you need to do. So if you're going to get the boat seaworthy, this is the second boat we're talking about. If you're going to get it seaworthy, 
you've got to spend another half day doing or quarter day doing it and succeeding out of that crafting role. And then you'll, the boat will be in good repair. Does that, does that track with what you remember? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. So around midday, I think we had described that it was already starting to rain when you were working on the boat and all that sort of stuff. So the sky is open and there are torrential rains for the sort of the midday and at least early part of the afternoon. You can see coming. It doesn't look like there's going to be a break or anything. So the sky is leaden. It's just full and it's dumping. Uh, so you've got the cabin and you've got the bodies that are kind of scattered around. I would imagine you've at least pulled them into a pile. Those three, um, Russ brothers, or have you left, have you left them where they laid, which have you done? I think I'd like to inspect their hands. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, going to be a thing. <laughs> uh, indeed. Indeed. I just, I believe in recycling. So as you inspect their hands, Ascalon, uh, you know, where are they? Are they where they fell in battle? Or have you guys pulled them together somewhere? I guess we pull them together. Maybe off a little towards the woods so that they're not yeah. smelling up the place. Okay. So you've dragged them towards the, the trees that they emerged from type of thing. They're in the field. Mm-hmm. And Ascalon's out there by himself with his... Uh, his clippers. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, all right. So Ascalon, it sounds like you're going to be doing some sort of gathering of spell components. Uh, uh, is it safe to say that Khan is going to continue to work on the the dory, the boat? Um, yes, unless the rain looks like it's going to really impede his progress. I'll probably give you a minus one if you work in this weather when you make your crafting roll because of the okay. bad the bad uh, elements that are sure. at play. <clears throat> Stas, can yes. you give me a hand with one of these boats? Ah, uh, sure. Okay, fine. All right. What do you command? need? <clears throat> sure. You need to flip one over or what? Got to patch one of the holes. <laughs> oh, you got the stuff to do it? I found the tar in one of the sheds. Oh, man. Oh, you know how to do this? Mm, not entirely, but I know where the hole is. Uh, well, that's great. But if we go out into the middle of this river and it doesn't hold up, we might be in trouble. Oh, it's unbelievable. Look, at you see that boat right there? That one's fine. This is the one we're fixing. Well, maybe we should put one in inside the other. And that way, if there's a hole, it'll just leak into the boat below it and we won't sink i thought you were a merchant have you never been on a boat how do you get things from point a to point b ah uh, land's the way to go brother huh. well, well whatever i'm here what do you need me to do don't let me get all dirty i don't need that well we're gonna get a little dirty because we gotta patch it up with this tar well, we i'm here to help you got a stick or something yeah Putty. there's there's the tools in the shed. Get it. Oh, that's true. Did you? I'll go get the tools. Oh, oh great. We what are that. the what are the ones that I need? You know what? Just stay here by the boat. I'll be back in a second. I'll watch the boat in case it goes anywhere. Excellent. <laughs> Con goes and gets the tools and comes back to the <laughs> boat. Uh, and I guess, uh, I guess it's going to be a little bit problematic with the tar because we've got to heat it up. So maybe try to get a fire going over by the one of the sheds, maybe where it might be possible to do that, Harrigan. And I guess just try to do my best with Staz's limited help um, to get this thing rocking and rolling. Do I? So I know you said that I'm going to take a minus on the weather with Staz's help. Will, I, will that kind of nullify? Ah, it's um, shitty out here. What are we doing out uh, here in the rain? Can we we're considering giving the, you a, we're trying another to negative modifier. The Staz, so that Staz. the Rust brothers come back, <laughs> He can be off. I don't want to have to deal with that again. They're not going to come back. Chopped off. Well, you were taking. Yeah, that's because you ran out in the woods like a fool. You got a hole up in the in the structure. Yeah, but then they would have come in and chopped you to death. It wasn't for the rest of us. Ah, not if everybody was inside. We need to talk about our tactics. Sure. Why 
I'm getting drenched out here. Why? Let's go inside, build a fire, keep warm. Maybe I'll go out and hunt and forage. But this is this is bullshit out here in this weather. My gosh, my God. You know what? I'll take care of it myself. You go, you go fancy yourself in that cabin, warm up there. Look, I don't want any bad blood. I'll help you. What do you I just think it's like could be done in a I mean, I'm sure it's gonna let up in an hour or two, or maybe, you know, it'll be fine. Can you not see the skies? This is gonna be going like this probably all day. Uh, well, at least if you're inside, you're dry. Where are we gonna take off in the rain? No, ideally, no, but if it needs to happen, at least we'll be ready to do it. But if we don't do this work now, we won't be able to do it later. If someone so is comes, that, is that the plan? Is we're gonna patch these boats and then we're gonna get in the boats in this miserable weather and then take off if the Rust Brothers arrive? Is if, that the deal? If a substantial number of them come, that's what my plan is. We got lucky. Did you not see what what we that dude on the the with the helmet? He almost chopped me in bits. He looked fine. I by this luck. He had yeah. a bird sticking out of his face. I don't want to deal with that again. It's yes, but ah, maybe 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 he wouldn't have been so. Mm, maybe he wouldn't have been so fierce if we weren't out in the middle of the woods, like running around with their heads chopped off. Like chickens. Wouldn't have been so. Do you know nothing of the Rust Brothers? Yes, I think. Maybe. Kind of. But why couldn't we have been inside that we could have holed up and then they would have came in one point of one one point of entry? Would have been much easier. No, they would have just burned us down inside. Just let the yeah. cabin aflame with those weird sensors, sensors, whatever the heck they were swirling about. Uh, you got me there. Hmm. telling you we got to get these boats tip top fine what do you need me to do so we get this done quick enough because i'm tired of getting wet just stir the tar fine where is it is this the tar that's the tar stir the tar with what this stick <laughs> fine stir the tar stir the tar stir right. the tar and i'm gonna take obviously scoops of this tar and try to patch the the boat Okay, so you're willing, um, Stas, to spend your quarter day helping. Basically, I figure mm -hmm. if Stas mends the fire and keeps the, keeps the pitch from you know from the fire from going out, and they'll keep the pitch uh, soft so you can apply it and all that good stuff. So the two of you will combine. You will get a plus one to the crafting roll from his help. Believe it or not, just, okay. Despite despite all all appearances, and so with that that'll cancel the rain though right here again that'll cancel out the rain yeah okay, but before, so before before you roll i do want to understand what garm is doing for the day sure so garm watched that <laughs> 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 just, just from a little a little ways away and just when they finally like get a plan and are starting to work he just kind of shrugs uh and then he's gonna go into the cabin with that shield that he just picked up off the the dead knight and he's gonna um, kind of pra he's gonna refit it, um, trying to describe gaining Defender Two, uh, the talent. But he spends some time refitting the shield, kind of practicing holstering it and getting it on himself and stuff like that. So gotcha. he's gonna spend some XP and gain an upgraded talent. Do you need to make a roll or anything, or are you good to go with just spending the XP? Just okay. just spending it. I already have the first one. So as Garm, as you come in out of the rain and uh, Stas, it takes about 10 minutes before you're soaked to the bone. It's pouring. So you guys can continue to work, but it's cold. It's really wet. But Garm, as you head in for the cabin, you see Arda sitting on the kind of on the stoop. She's got the roof just over her head. So she's out of the rain, but she's sort of just watching the two of them go, go at it back and forth. And as you step past her, she just looks up and says, are they always like this? This is yep. how you all are? Uh, I wouldn't say all of us, and I think it depends on the moment. It's kind of odd. We come to get, we we mesh together well when it's needed, but outside of that, can be a lot of bickering. Don't know if you've had moments where you've had to become brothers in arms with somebody or sisters in arms with somebody very suddenly. 
there's a level of trust gained immediately, but it doesn't necessarily mean all the other uh, <clears throat> edges are worn down. She nods and just says, so I see. I know what you mean. They're good people, though. She says, I'll be back. She steps and she heads outside and for the woods to the south as the boat crafting is going on, as the hand sawing is happening. Uh, Wayne, how many hands is Ascalon intending to take here? Two. Okay. I think there's no probably no problem doing that. Um, so put two into your inventory. And I think the only role we're after is going to be the boat crafting, right? Oh. Which is which goes from noon to about supper time. So the rain continues to pound down. It's hard to keep the fire going. The lake is just, you guys can picture it, the lake is just rippling with the heavy rain the whole time. There's it's kind of loud because of the of the sound of the rain on the water. The wind is blowing. It's gray overhead. I, before you roll, I will say, Garm, that Arda, Arda does eventually come back, and she has like a pack and a sack with her. So she's dragged something from somewhere and um, simply says, when the rain stops, are you setting off or are you waiting until tomorrow? Sister Garm. Uh, Garm kind of, I, I imagine we met on the porch. Garm kind of just sticks his head out and looks up. Uh, I think if we're not attacked by anyone, we would probably wait till the morning or at least until the rain stops. She says it's a risk. There's more of those Rust brothers out there. Right. I think that's what Khan is worried about. So he wants to make sure the boats are ready to go. He he would be the one to ask though. Him and Stas. I don't know that Stas is going to want to leave though while it's and he looks up again. Raining. All right, Con. Go ahead and make your crafting roll. Got a push. Should your crafting roll not have had different colors of dice in it? No, no I don't have any skill in crafting. Oh. Yeah. I oh. got crafting. <laughs> Give me that damn thing. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I thought you knew how to patch boats. <laughs> no, I just said that I'd identified where the holes were. Wow, well, genius. You told me to get the tar, the tools. It made it sound like you knew what you were doing. Well, you didn't sound too motivated to do the work that I was doing. Because it's raining cats and dogs out here. You know what a cat and a dog is, right? I know what a dog is. Well, add cats. That's what this rain's about. I'm soaked to my bone and chilled, freezing my ass off out here. Fine, you take over and I'll stir the pitch. Fine, give me that. <laughs> All right, if you guys are, are okay with it, we'll do a little flexing here with the rules. Uh, forget pushing. I will let Stas make the roll, but Stas, because you have less time, you're going to have a, a minus, an additional minus one modifier, but you will have Khan's help. So it, it all amounts to your attribute and your skill minus one. Modifier is minus one because of the time taken. Oh, dear. <laughs> Doesn't look like you've done a much better job than I did. <laughs> I got water in my face. I can't see a damn thing out here. It's too loud. I can't concentrate. Oh, enough of this rubbish. I'm going in there enough. Sick of your belly aching and moaning. Obviously, we need it to dry. It's not going to do anything if it's wet. If we're putting wet tar on a wet boat in a wet rainstorm. I don't think we have much of a choice here. Although I do agree we need to get it done. But it's just the right, not the right timing, Con. Fine. I, Con will stomp away. He'll put, take all the tar and the tools that are around him and he'll put them in the shed. And then he's he's going to stomp back to the cabin in a bit of a huff. So, Stas, you're not going to try to push? Uh, I... Hmm. She... Ah, well, I'll push, no. but I got to take the same modifier or no, I guess it, I don't have to. I just take the same dice, right? It'd be the same dice, but don't make the roll yet. Cause I want to look at one thing quickly here. My fear is at... if I push, I damage like the boat worse. Let's see here. 
Well, you're not rolling. Uh, you haven't been rolling any equipment dice or anything, right? No, not necessarily, but. Do you guys happen to remember when you're doing, when you're, um, when someone's helping someone else and you're adding that die, mm-hmm. do they get included in the failure? If there's a. No, I don't think so. No, Harrigan. Not that I know of. No, I don't. Any, they don't bells. take uh they don't take a willpower point for helping or anything okay. like that. If you GM narratively say, hey, because you're yeah. helping you so let's, hits let's you in the this. head with the hammer, you know. Yep. So Khan leaves, leaving Stas and Stas, you're determined to, to get this damn thing fixed now, right? So make your re-roll because you're pushing, and I'm gonna let you have the same dice. But if you do end up with a one. Not only will you take attribute damage, but you'll probably add some setback to the boat as well to make it harder to fix in the future. Fantastic. So you want me just to straight push or you need me to re-roll? Nope, do a straight push. Okay. You can keep keep all your dice, even though Khan's not here. Yeah. Oh, did so you already I... have one one one? Huh. I guess you did. Yeah. And crafting is what strength? Okay, so by the end of the of the time period here, the the quarter, you are drenched to the bone. The strength damage that you've suffered is, is from you just freezing. Your well, it's your churning the tire cold. that's getting cold as hell. It's not liquid anymore. Well, you're like, you're having to go back and forth, right? Because Khan's yeah, gone, so yeah. you're doing both now. Son so you I'm are just cussing everything I do. I cuss yeah. everything I pick up. I throw like everything's just <laughs> bullshit. But this this thing doesn't work. Boom out in the damn. <laughs> <laughs> so Good by the end of it all, kick the boat. Um, the equivalent of a minus one going forward. Uh, further repairs to the boat because with the with the diminishing supply of pitch are going to be at minus one now because of this. And you take one point of strength damage from the cold and the wet. Makes sense. Yeah, Con, you, so I, you do not. You're back inside. <laughs> I get. To the point where I just walk back in. I st- as as I'm take as I'm walking back in, I'm shedding all my clothes. So by the time I get to the door, I'm basically naked. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk in with my clothes in my hands, buck naked, completely naked. Yeah, I'm wet, drenched. Look at these clothes. <laughs> Freaking piss me off. Uh, Ask the water. Are you are you back inside with Garm and everybody else now? In other words, are all of you in the cabin now? I think probably by the end of the quarter. That was a nod, Wayne. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot, I forgot to put. My wife came in. I was put on uh, mute. Yes, I, I'm back in. I'm, I'm back in as soon as I can. I mean, hell, I don't want to be out there in the rain. So you guys might remember because it's late summer, there's quite a bit of daylight still, right? So when the door opens up, it's still light outside, but there's this figure back backlit by the gray skies in the lake, bare buck naked with his clothes all packed in his arms as he comes in. Ara just kind of shakes her head. <laughs> Garm, uh you've you've uh, improved your your talent. Yep. Yep. What will what will the new ability allow you to do? Oh, uh, so as defender two, I have a plus one bonus to all parries. Mm. Very nice. All right, let me make one quick GM roll here, privately. Wasn't private. We could see it. What is that? It says private GM to me. It's private. Interesting. In any case. Um, it doesn't no show up. it if it if it was on a table, it only shows us the number. So if it there's a description to it, Harrigan, it didn't show us that. Oh, I think I know what it is. It's because I used a macro to do a D66. So the macro goes around the security that's um, on the the little the little uh, panel. All right. Well, fair enough. There's but there's even though you set no one on watch, and in fact <laughs> Ascalon kind of could have been kind of could have been on watch because it wouldn't have taken you six hours, but to get your two hands. Um, but the, you know, the watch passes and by the time all is said and done and you're, you're all inside the cabin now drying out some of you, uh, I would imagine that Stas has a blanket wrapped around him 
Um, your clothes are probably hanging up. Um, I want you to all think about what you're going to do for the next quarter. I'm going to take a two minute break. I have to jet for a second and see my wife on something. I'll be right back. Um, but think about Q3 where you, you do have some good light. So if you wanted to get, get going or continue to fix the boat, et cetera, it is still raining. So just kind of bear that in mind. I'll be right back. Stick. Garmin's still actually pretty good at crafting. <laughs> pretty good. You know anything about boats? Fine. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. We don't have a lot to work with. The pitch is like all over and didn't make the, didn't seal the hole like it should have. I don't know too much, but it's just shoving the pitch into the hole to keep oh. it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's just, it's just that easy, right, Con? Just that easy. And yeah, whatever you say, Stas. Yeah, see? Like, that's like Con, you know? We need, it's easy. Yeah. yeah we could just figure it out. So, yeah. 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 Knock, yeah. knock yourself out, man. Maybe, easy. Uh, yeah, maybe you got some better luck. There, Garm. I could try. Uh, might work better if somebody watches or might actually work better if somebody doesn't. I don't know. I could take a crack at it. Yeah. Unless you want to take off on foot. I'm waiting for my clothes to dry. It's freaking miserable out there. Aren't you drenched? No, my clothes don't dry. dry. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow is going to be a bad day if I don't get my clothes to dry. True. Or it may just rain tomorrow anyways. <laughs> It's true. True. Uh, is there a table in this little place? There is. T two beds, a couple of rough hewn cabinets, um, a, a cast iron stove or the equivalent of a iron stove, and also at least one table. One that's like a work surface. Okay. Well, that's probably pretty heavy. Um, Well, I'll, I'll go out with, with you, Garm, help you. I I can't offer much um, much help, but I'll, I'll keep you company and do what I can to help you. Hey, if you go out there, the like there's a tool that you'll probably need. It's, I think, like, I don't know, 30 yards that way. And then there's, like, something else I threw, like, <laughs> I don't know, somewhere in that distance. So, yeah, actually, we were we – were, Kind of watching that. Um, yeah, I marked them. <laughs> okay. It might come in handy. I don't know. I was, and I, I don't think they're broke, but. Good idea. Yeah, we'll gather up the tools. All right. So Ascalon right. and Garm are going to go outside and try to fix the yep. boat, get the fire yep. going, get the pitch warm back up again, gather the tools. Um, and just try to try to get the thing working. Hey, Where Con and hey, Stas do. Hey Con, you got any what? silver? You got any silver? <laughs> Why? Come on, just get a. You got any silver? You got a silver? One silver? Yeah, I got a silver. What do you? What do you? I got a to? silver. I got a silver. That says they don't fix the boat. You, what do you? What do you say? You any? You take her? Those two? Yeah. No, I, I ain't taking that bet. <laughs> Come on, two silver. One to two. No, you, I just, hey, I just I said win. I don't think they're going to do it. Uh, all right, fair. I, <laughs> I think they might do it then. You want to? You want to bet? Sure. All right. One silver. I'll take your silver. Yeah, one all silver. Right. They don't do it. You say they do do it. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. You're on. Uh, in the meantime, so we're, we've got a quarter here, here again, eh? You do. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know if you allow this narratively. I would like to try to gain the talent of. Sh um, sorry, one second. I think it's is a quick draw. Uh, give me one second. Sorry, dude. Q three. Good. Q three. It's Q three. I, I need will to rest. Move the clock. I'll rest. Okay. Uh, can can all of a sudden I'm you hear me snoring. 
I can sleep through anything. So it would be fast shooter Harrigan. So you can fire your bow or sling. So fire your bow lightning fast. Uh, you don't need to ready the weapon before you shoot with a ranged weapon. So it would be basically just me quick drawing, quick drawing, quick drawing, quick drawing, quick drawing. Put the arrow in the quiver, pull one, pull, like type of thing, right? Inside the cabin? Yeah. Do, do I need to be firing the bow, you think? Nah. To, to learn? Okay. All right. So that's what I'm going to try to practice then this particular quarter. Okay. So I, I don't have this talent. So what is it you have to do again when you're trying to learn something for the first time? I think it's a wits, a wits roll. roll. Wits yeah. roll? Okay, great. Yeah. Just straight up wits. Yep. I believe uh, so. It's on Don't make it yet. So, sure. so Stas, you're in the cabin too. Um, when the other two go outside, Art, artist, I think she probably placed herself in a corner in a chair. She's the kind of person who can get really compact when she wants to. So she's got her whole body, both of her feet, you know, her knees are, knees are up. And she's just sort of observing the lot of you. And, and I'm sure at some point she kind of says, you're going to put clothes on to Stas as, <laughs> as you know, you guys are, you, I would imagine during this quarter is when you're going to eat as well. So when you get a minute, we can make the food and drink rolls as well. Um, but eventually Stas, you bed down, right? You're going to rest and con, you start doing your, your drawing. So we got a bunch of rolls you got to make here. Um, crafting garment, that's going to be you, right? Yep. You are at a I'll minus help. one, for, minus one for the rain, minus one for the shortage of supplies and the fact that Stas and Khan didn't leave it in good, very good shape. And you're going to plus one for Ascalon. Can, right. I, can I try one other thing? I was going to, yeah. I'm leaving all my stuff other than my little throwing dagger in the, um, <clears throat> you know, cabin. in the uh, cabin, but I am going to bring my sleeping fur with me and i'm gonna try to i'm just gonna hold it over like you know put it over my back and do this so to keep the rain from falling on where he's um you know where okay. he's trying to apply the pitch does your sleeping so. fur have a die rating for cold two 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 yeah i believe so let me I'll give you a one die rating for keeping sure. rain off. So you can Got throw it. in a, an, equi an equipment die, Sean, on a gear die. But <laughs> if that comes up a one, you're going to have wrecked I your got it. fur. Gotcha. So you get, get that, Sean. Minus two for, or, or I'm sorry, get that, <laughs> Kevin. Is what I, well, yep. Yeah, you're, you're not rolling anymore, Sean. Um, so Garm, you're, you're down two, and then you're back up two again, right? Yep. But, but one I of think those it, became a gear dice. That's correct. That is correct. So, uh, so Phil, that information on the expending experience is on page 39 and 40. Yeah, I got it. Gotcha. Sorry. That's okay. Right. Okay. I'm gonna roll. Yes. Got it. Yep. Sorry, I was looking at something else. Uh look at that. That was only one die you were rolling? No, click mm. on it. Oh, one success. One success. Yeah, I didn't, sorry, I didn't see the dice go by. Nope. Five dice, one success. All right. So by the time the quarter is over and, you know, it'll be pitch dark outside, the two of you are going to have what you believe is a mended rowboat alongside the second one. So well done. Bravo. Good job, Garm. Garm, Garm turns, to ask, uh, turns to Ascalon. Good idea on the sleeping fur. <clears throat> that helped. I don't know if it helped, but yeah. Good job. That's good. Let's go ahead and see if uh, these roots, if these folks haven't killed themselves. Yeah, Con, go ahead and make your roll to see if you have learned quick draw. Oh. oh. And that roll can't be pushed. Is that right, guys? Um, it just says if you fail, keep the XP and try again next quarter. Ah. Uh. I'm I'm fine with failing. I, narratively, yeah. I mean, trying to learn it the way that I'm doing it in the cabin without actually firing the bow. Yeah, I'm all good with the failure. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so keep your XP, and uh, so no one's on watch. So let me do one quick thing here. So, is so there a way on the table 
to ch- set the security or is it, is, it, is it just set by default to not show you guys the results? Um, Do you know? You mean for die rolls? It's, for it's all specifically the, the, for the encounter one. I do not know. The, I thought I made rolls as, let me see if I can, if I have the option. I think it was self roll or private GM roll, maybe. One of those options would come up, I think, with question marks that you wouldn't be able to see. Tell me if you see that roll. We don't. It's question marks. Okay, so I've got it set to private GM role, but it seems like that's from the little tray, right? Beneath the chat. Sure. When I use the actual module, you know, the pack, it appears to override that. So we'll find out what happens. What's your question mark? It's question marks. It is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So give me a second here to do a little bit of scanning. I'm going to. Um... Just, just FYI, while we're out there fixing that, I'm going to, <clears throat> you know, not not trying to distract uh, Garn, but I'm going to basically say, you know, uh, that excitement last night taught me that um, I, I cannot, <clears throat> I cannot rely on my magic alone. Would you be willing to, you know, help me learn how to? Use my knife a little better. Of course. A good friend with a trusty weapon that they know how to use is always better than not. (laughs) Yes, I would be happy to uh, spar with you. Uh, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Whenever we get the chance. Okay, so each of you, please do me a favor and make your food and water rolls as well. I mean, to do it even though I'm sleeping? Yeah, you probably had a bite deep before you went to bed, right? Okay. Ooh, somebody's food went down. Garm. Con's water went down. My water went down, but I'm sure I just left my canteen or whatever outside to fill it back up. <laughs> in the rain. In the rainwater, huh? You know. And lake water. Yeah. It's hard to not imagine you guys couldn't end up with D12 water anytime you want with the mm-hmm. lake right there. Um all right. So by the end of by midnight, right? The end of Q3, um, the boat is repaired and you've kind of set it next to the other boat. Probably turn them both over so we're not filling with water. Uh, the rain has slackened off considerably, and there's just sort of a, a mist and a fog by the time that the you know the moon is up and um, stash. You're probably starting to stir a little bit. Um, Con, you've given up. You're like your fingers are raw and bloody from all the draws and whatnot, and you can tell that Arta definitely seems to be a bit of a strange duck. There's not a lot of conversation inside the cabin. She watches you. She kind of keeps to herself. She, you can see her kind of shaking her head a little bit sometimes as you are over and over again going through those motions that eventually just leave you with some bloody fingers for the time that you're you're done. Um, Ascalon and Garm, as you turn to head, though, uh, something in the water further out kind of catches your eye, like something floating in the water, maybe... A couple hundred feet off off of off of shore, and you can only see it because of the moonlight. I'll, looks like looks like almost like debris or wood floating in the water. Uh, arm. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll point out in the direction. Look look where the moonlight is falling on the on the water. You see something floating out there? Yeah, that can't be good. Or it's just refuse. Hmm. The wind is coming from the east, and it appears to be pushing whatever this stuff is kind of along. It's not moving fast, but there definitely appears to be something in the water that's sort of surfacing and then not surfacing, like something that's broken up or debris. Like floating along, barely? Mm -hmm. Yep. Hmm. 
Should we take a closer look? What do you think? I mean, swim out there? No. Oh, true. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, used to traveling on land. It's all weird. Uh, it's not. It's not um, raining right now, correct? It's like a drizzle, like a light, very light rain. Um, if you've got your eye on it, let me go back and see if I can. Well, actually, did anybody have a lantern? I don't have a lantern. Got torches. That won't be much good. It's a couple of hundred feet away. So the only reason you can even see it is that the surface of the lake is pretty flat at this stage. Right. The winds and the rain have kind of, kind of died down. So you can definitely tell that something is breaking the surface. A torch or a lantern wouldn't throw any more light on it from this okay. distance. Um. I'll keep I'll keep an eye on it if you want to run get your I don't think it's necessarily a weapon but um I, I don't think it's necessarily something bad but if you want to go back and get your your arms I'll keep my mm -hmm. eye on it until you come back Gotcha good idea Garm will move up to the cabin and he kind of just like barges the door in with his shoulder says something in the water and he moves directly over to get his shield and sword and gear what do you mean like a boat people coming mm, it doesn't look like a boat it looks like something thrown over the side or i don't know it's like floating being moved towards us uh not moved towards you from not, east to west past uh, past us sorry the wind seems oh, to be oh, moving I'm past sorry, us yep it's like a piece of driftwood. Uh, potentially. I can see it really well. You want to take a look? Yeah, better than listen to this guy snore. <laughs> Is there any rope? I guess I'm, sure. I guess I'm out there. Sorry. I've got rope. I grab my rope. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll follow Garm mm -hmm. out then. Sorry, man. <laughs> All right, so the, the three of you can get, gather on the shore, and by the time you get back, Aslan, you kept your eye on the debris, and it, it definitely looks like wood or something that floats that breaks the surface from time to time, might be kind of waterlogged, uh, and it's moving largely moving past you by the time the two get back. So it's not it's not like there's a big, huge amount of the stuff. The chunks aren't like 10 feet long. It's just something that kind of just disturbing the surface of the water, breaking it up a little bit, and, and kind of catches the eye. Um, Could it be a... a, a a boat overturned? It's possible, but you think the pieces look smaller than that. Okay. All right. They look like something that's maybe broken up, like a crate or a barrel or a boat. But it's that it's that sort of debris where it's like there's probably a half dozen pieces that are kind of bobbing, right? Hmm. Moving together. They're not scooting along, but they're, you know, in two minutes they move quite a ways in the lake. And then in another five minutes, they'll be out of sight. To the heading to the west. Unless someone's going to what wants to swim out there and try to grab any of that. I don't know what else we could do. I ain't going out there. Not chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not Already. a great idea. Maybe okay. uh, right. something to keep an eye on, though. If if there was something broken up in the water, and we travel by water. Yeah, we might we might spot it uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you said to the east, right? Okay, wind, yeah, wind, wind is coming from the east, blowing the blowing the debris to the west. Okay, so we won't see it tomorrow. That's correct. If you're going to go east, you're going right. to get you're going. But to... maybe something. Yeah, it's a, I don't know. Maybe something. There's been a storm or something to the west to the east. And maybe. Okay, so you let it go? Yeah. 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 All righty. So within a few minutes, it's out of sight. The lake is becomes flat. The wind is actually starting to die down more and more. The rain stops as we reach um, the start of Q4, right? So the early hours of the morning. Nothing else happens in terms of what you see in the lake. So no more debris comes, anything like that. Um, so I'd like to know what you're doing for Q4. 
Is anybody else seeing Wayne's uh, video? Yeah, I don't, it started doing Glitch this. Videos. I, I am trying to figure out what's going on. It's very cyberpunk. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is very 80s. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. So Stas is rested. So Stas, you can re- recover your strength damage, right? Mm-hmm. Your clothes, I would imagine, after six hours are probably mostly dry. It's a humid environment. Here in Denver, things dry in like 30 minutes. It's great. <laughs> in Nova Scotia, stuff never dries, ever. Mm-hmm. Or or in Athens, Georgia, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it just <laughs> doesn't dry. Like if you, if you wash a dish and leave it out. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> mosquitoes exactly. get stuck to it. Mosquitoes get stuck to it. Not good. I hate humidity. <sighs> All right, so Q4, yeah, I would imagine at the beginning of it, the three of you come back in to get out of the wet because the two of you are probably yeah. still, even though you had the you had the uh, blanket going along, you're probably still pretty wet and cold and need some rest. So two of you are probably going to rest, right? Maybe even three of you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Garm um, wants to sleep. Right, go ahead first. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Garm wants so, to sleep. Yeah. So Stas, what are you doing? With the commotion of everybody coming back into the cabin, you're woken up. Yeah, I get dressed and uh, uh, so, uh, where are my hopefully my clothes are dry. Hey, so did you guys uh, fix that boat? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, hey, uh, Con. <clears throat> what? I mean, what? Oh, come on! <laughs> I hand him over a piece of silver. <laughs> You bet against us? <laughs> Don't pass judgment upon that, upon the lad. It's all good. Congratulations. Well done, chaps. Uh, I will uh, keep watch now and uh, make sure that, uh, you know, guys sleep safe, safely. So. Okay. If you guys do what you want to do, uh, if you need me to do something while I keep watch, just let me know. What does keeping watch look like, uh, Stas? I make sure the windows are covered. And if there is a fire inside that the light doesn't go beyond, I'll even do a round around the cabin to make sure yeah. there's no light okay. intruding and out from the cracks. In the wee hours of the morning, it's no longer raining. The, certainly the grass is wet and the ground is wet. And I suspect the only light inside the cabin after everybody beds down is probably just the fire maybe in the um, in the stove. So it's just, just you know, one grate's open. It's just a little bit of light in the room. Keep the shutters closed, the wooden shutters we, we described before. Uh, so it's not like the cabin is lit, lit up from far away, which is, I think, what you're trying to avoid. Every once in a while, I'll go outside, get some air. So it's if it's like a few hours or whatever, if I feel groggy inside because of the warm air i'll go outside as long as it's not raining and look around and maybe do a lap around the cabin and see where art is like she inside still kind of looking around Arta is still inside in fact she's she's sleeping at this stage okay as long as everything seems everybody's bending down then i just every once in a while i'll do a, a round i don't go very far just kind of looking. Go go ahead and make me your, um, I believe it's a scouting roll. Is that right? It is. For keeping yeah. watch. Mm-hmm. I swore I clicked it. Maybe it didn't. There we go. Fantastic. That's awesome. That's fantastic result, That's isn't it? Freaking great. All right. So you do you do a couple of rounds and then you're like, oh, there's no one coming. It's the middle of the night. Um, you know, the uh the rain has stopped. It's actually kind of beautiful out where the clouds are finally starting to break up a little bit. The moon is much brighter than it was. It was, you know, it was starting to come out when you guys saw the debris on the water. Now it's fully out. Um and eventually dawn comes. To wake the others up. Let me see what our weather's like today. It's completely overcast in the morning, and there'll probably be some light drizzle, drizzle throughout the day, but not like the torrential rain you had yesterday. So it's overcast in the morning when the, the five of you are now up and, and going. All right, Make ladies. 
Rise and shine. Rise and shine. New day. Still shitty outside. Not as shitty. <laughs> Still shitty. <laughs> well, ain't that a comfort? At least we won't drown by having the water from the sky fill our boat. You won't. All right. So what is the plan for Q1? I need to change the clock here. We're taking the boats across the lake. Uh, across or are we going to go head to the east? Or is that what you meant? We know we need to go to the east. Right? Yeah. Uh, is the town that we're looking for kind of like northeast? Or like which side of the lake is it on? I, I got the impression that it was across the lake, kind of northeast, you, but I, you know, I you, could be wrong. You don't know the answer to that. You know it's in the gotcha. east. Gotcha. Well, Ar- right. Arda told us there was the town across the lake. She did. That that was not not where we want to go. No, but the, the lake does kind of yeah, because the lake, but the lake does go up towards the or whatever the spotty water is, does go up towards the north and east. So I thought we were just going to see how far we could get. Girl, what is your name? I just said her name, Arta. I'm sure she could speak for herself. (laughs) You say there's a town across the water? A village. What's the name? Dorfa. Dorfa. How big a village? I don't know. A hundred souls? Hmm. Have you gone there? Have you been? Not, not in some time. The Rust Brothers frequent that place. Hmm. Are, they, are they in league with the Rust Brothers? No, but they're afraid of them. Uh, rightfully Pe- so. People will tell them. The Ross Brothers have eyes in different places because they threaten everyone. Mm. Are you accommodating us? Are you com- accom- accompanying, accompanying us, not accommodating. You're accommodating us by having us here, but are you going to accompany, accompany us on our, on our journey? Or are you going to stay here or maybe you go to the village? She looks at you and she says, I've changed my mind. I'm staying. Mm, why? You may take the boats. You're going to stay here by yourself? She nods. You think that's wise? It's all I have. Yeah. Might be able to find a place that has more. Maybe. I'll visit the village in my own time. I'll make sure it's safe. You may take the boats. I'm not going to be a fisher person. I think we only need one. Huh? All right. We only yeah. need one boat, don't we? No, no we need it two. Both. That's why we figured that they're too small for all four of us in there, plus our gear. Mm. Would indeed be better in two. I think we described yeah. all four of you could fit in one. If you wanted to risk that. <laughs> yeah, no, let's not do that. Two and two would be easier or two and yeah. three. No. You'd be safer with us. If you want to come, we'd love to have you. We'll protect you. We're going to strike it rich. We're going to go to the North. Open some trade routes, do some bartering. Good money. I can look after myself. Yeah. What happened to the ones that were with you here? That's a different story. Mm. They caught us unawares. Oh, but you're going to be awares. You know you have to sleep sometime. I do. I didn't think you wanted me to come with you before. Eh, you're warming up to me. What can I say? You want to stay? That's I'm warming up to you. Well... (laughs) 
If you want to stay. That's your choice. I, I mean, he's correct. If you if if you want to say that is your choice, if you if you do want to come with us, then you know. Understood. And the offer is generous. I would love to learn more of your history, Ascalon. Your people. I've I've come to learn from yours. Um, but I Maybe we'll maybe we'll see each other again. No, you're... Maybe we will. For now, my place is here, but maybe we will. Um, is there anything we can do before we leave for you? She thinks for a minute. Just know you've helped. You've buried. With the burial, fighting off the Rust Brothers, you've done more than we could ask, frankly. Take the boats. If you don't need both of them, leave them where they land. I may find them at some point. Dig through my pack. Throw her some food. There. Take this. It'll last you a little while before you get some more fish. And this is at least the cost of having us stay here and eat some of the fish that you had. It's not much, but she catches it. Roll your food resource die, Sean. No, I just subtract one, right? Oh, you're you're giving one. You're giving enough for a whole. Yeah, okay. I give her. I give her a, a die. To, Go for it. So I'm that puts me down to a die eight. Okay, lots of food. Yeah, lots of food. I'm a hunter, man. I can hunt. I don't know if she can, but. Garm, what are you, what are you doing while all this conversation's going on? <clears throat> Garm just listens quietly and then afterwards says, it was nice to fight alongside you. Appreciate the help. Good luck. You too. Maybe we will Kill. see each other again. She nods. Says, kill lots of Rust brothers. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. He's like, mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Under my breath, anybody like those guys? Anybody? I don't understand. <laughs> Huge douches. Not even their mothers, I'm sure. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it a boat journey? Is it? Uh, what are your plans for Q1? Sure. Sorry, before yeah. before Khan leaves the the hut, though, Paragon, he is going to turn to Arta. Okay, I'm making a mistake. Uh, alone or with everybody present? I guess I'd be the last one to leave, maybe just just as a parting word, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You're making a mistake. Khan, Khan, you coming? <laughs> Jesus, you're making a mistake. If they come back, they're gonna do horrible things to you. They're gonna, and then they'll kill you, and that'll be a blessing. You really should come with us. Trust she, me, I know she, what I'm talking about. She reaches past you and she closes the door to shut St Stas out because Stas is doing his. I'm down. I'm down like a little ways away, yelling. Yeah, from distance. but yeah, okay. she closes the door so they can't see you anymore, and you can't call in. <laughs> Got it. Got it. She turns to Khan and she just looks at you and she says, "You don't want me with you. Trust me." All right. All right. Well, we gave you fair warning. Good luck to you, and to you. Okay. I'm gonna leave, and as I kind of march over to the boats. Look at Stas. When'd you become so bloody terrible? First, you don't Maybe want her around. Terrible. Now, I asked her to come around. along. What is, what is with you? I gave her food. What are you yelling at me for? Uh, why? That is completely out of your character. Did you get? Are you feeling okay? You feel a little sick? Hey, I've got a little heart. I can find more food. I don't know if she can. I think she's more incapable. There's more to me than meets the eye, there, buddy boy. Clearly, you are a contradiction. By the way, I'm getting in the boat with Garm. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you guys, oh, you're you guys are, oh, you're not. I'm in with Garm. <laughs> in a good boat, too, probably. Bloody Where the hell are those guys going? Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, well, I'm in, the, I'm in the rear. You're up in the front. <laughs> yep. 
Fine. There's two sets of oars, so one each can can paddle. Can, <laughs> I presume that's Khan and probably Garm. Yeah. Oh my. Uh, are you heading? And I'll ping the map. Are you heading here? I thought we were heading east. Right, but I think we have to go through that hex to then oh, get to this hex. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Correct. Okay, yeah. yeah the, the, shack, the shack is like on that body, on the body of water right there. Sure, basically. makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And oh, sea travel. Time. Sea travel, I think, is still two hexes a day, is it not? Excuse me, two hexes a quarter. Well, you're entering oh. entering stuff I don't know. <laughs> I know. Are we able to look for that debris if we're heading in that direction to start off or no, Harrigan? Uh, it, de- it depends on how... Uh, yeah, I'd, let you, I'd certainly let, let you do that, yeah. Uh, depending on how, one, how long you want to look and maybe the result mm-hmm. of a roll, it might take no. you a while and yeah, it's no, in the no. wrong direction, right? Yeah, no, no, let's get moving here. Forget it, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I need to know who leads the way. And this is called Skipper when you have a boat. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's not, <laughs> and there's, I there's am a, a Pathfinder, but I don't know if that's me. <laughs> there's a talent for, for Skipper. So your Pathfinder talent doesn't work on the water from oh, the sounds of it. Yeah, no, that's not You me. need well, to have Skipper. It should be these two who just hauled out of here like too sweet. So, <laughs> yeah, Ascalon and Garm lead the way on this. That ain't we were us. Just, we're, we were, we we were are just, way back. We just wanted to make sure that we got that boat out of your way before you know the two of you got in. And uh... mm-hmm. and turn. oh, that's funny. I'm reading through the sea travel too. That's funny. Uh, yeah. Do you, I could I can lead the way. We can go the long way around. And should we have the other boat keep watch type of thing? That makes sense. Or Staz, since I'm rolling. Okay. There you go. So Staz keeps watch, and Garm, you're leading the way. Is that right? <laughs> sure. Okay. Oh, the boy. two, the two robots put out this? there. <laughs> it's exciting, <laughs> right? <laughs> why, why? Y'all, this y'all, is... we all played this game before. We should always put our best foot forward. <laughs> so, why? so remember, <laughs> rivers. <laughs> this is all yeah, water. We're in a <laughs> fuck. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask I, this: I, Who let, is let's... wearing what in the two rowboats? Like, Ooh. what is on your body, and what is uh, in a sack or a backpack? in the bottom of the boat getting wet because these are wooden rowboats the bottom of the boat will be wet regardless of mm-hmm. what you do well i mean <laughs> decision time i guess my pack i mean what i mean i just have a pack and my you know and myself i don't have any armor or ask on I'm, I'm thinking more for the armored among you who have to make some decisions no i don't have any armor uh, so can I wear my studded leather? Does that hurt me if I go to swim <laughs> later? <laughs> yes, yes, it does. Uh, it, it, won't, it won't make days. you drop like a rock, but it will certainly be an impediment to, to any kind of swimming check. I think uh, he would pack it all up into, into a sack okay. um, with the shield. Um, I, I would, I, I bet I even take a little bit of rope and I like tie things to the boat a little bit, tie my pack to the boat. So in case we flip, then it's still there. Okay. I could all in on the shield. That way the shield is right on the bottom of the boat and it's not yep. that shield, was, you know, shield. Totally agree. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Broadswords across it. Okay. You're the only person with with uh, with armor, and you're not wearing it, right? Right. Okay. The two the two boats, um, stroke, 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 and you see the cabin. You see Arda standing in the doorway of the cabin, just watching you. Weird, weird chick. If you haven't figured it out by now, yeah. So the not two quite boats. Sure what her deal was? That's a good way of good way of looking at it. Um, so the cabin sort of fades in the distance a little bit, gets smaller and smaller as you get further and further from shore. And as you'll see, you can see on the map actually already to the east, the, it looks like there's a narrows 
and then the lake opens up. So if you head to the northeast from you know where you row up, row onto the middle, the lake's going to get much bigger from there. But you have to go through a bit of a narrows to get there. Um, Kevin, when you just looked at the travel rules, is it two hexes per quarter? I didn't say. I I couldn't find like direct text that said <laughs> it is two hexes per like quarter. Using... In this game, we're not supposed to be on water. That that could be it. <laughs> <laughs> that might be that might be it. <laughs> Works yeah. like journeys on land, but some differences. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to go with two hexes per. Right. Per it, it's interesting because it just says requires a boat or raft instead of saying open or difficult terrain, which is what determines how fast you can go. So, yeah, I would assume. Yeah. You know what? I can work with that because there's places on the map where there's all kinds of like shoals and, and mm. islands, which that is probably difficult. more difficult terrain. Right. So we'll, we'll lower your speed to one. Go ahead, Wayne. You could cool. use difficult terrain to mean the winds against absolutely you, or tide, absolutely. and just make it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do all of those things. Um, so, in fact, I, I just rec- realized that. Um, apologies for this for the for the uh, the system part of it. When you advance the clock, it actually changes the weather automatically. Right. Oh. So, by the time we get to the morning, the skies are actually clearing. So you had that. We'll, we'll call the overcast and drizzle was Q four of the last day. So by the time you're putting the boats out, you've actually got some patches of blue sky overhead. It looks like you may actually have a good day of, of rowing ahead of you. All right. Let's go ahead and make the journey roll first. Lead the way. That's survival. That's survival modified by skipper. No one has skipper. So it's just survival. Straight up survival. I got this. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm sure. What's quartermaster do? Why is that popping up? <laughs> Oh, that's when I make camps. Okay. It's been a little bit. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, we got it. We're, no in the bit, we're in the little water. We go to the big water. Keep it mm-hmm. simple. <laughs> Do one more quick thing here. A little bit of this. Okay. All right. So after a couple of hours, you get so far from, you know, the, uh, these were six mile hexes, right? So you get a few miles from shore um, and you're ready to, you're out in the middle of the lake and you're, you know, you can see those mountains on your north and northwest, the shore kind of, kind of pretty rugged terrain, much more rugged than the terrain, the woods to the south. Um, so with that sort of bounding you on one side, you turn to the northeast and you start putting your back into getting the the two dories aimed that way, and you keep going. We can make another lead the way check. <clears throat> or does somebody overtake us and they can take over leading the way? <laughs> nope. <laughs> if you want to switch out rowing, you can certainly do that. I don't have survival, so. Okay. I do have in, scouting in forbidden lands. You didn't take survival. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't. Take, I I have. I have not. I got no survival. Oh, no survival. survival. I can. I'm better at that than if we're doing a survival roll. I got six dice total. All right. It's survival. It's a, well. It's it's one of you is leading the way. So so far it's Garm. Yeah, yeah. Your boat is doing the keep watch thing. Yeah. Which is scouting. All right. So hmm, narratively, it's, maybe a kind of. To Staz, why the hell are we going so far out into the middle of the lake? Where, what is Garm doing? <laughs> this is not a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> you want to wake? Uh, should we go in different? Should we just? Yeah, look. If we go this way, yeah, we'll easily overtake them, yeah. and we won't be so far out into the middle of the lake. Yeah, screw that. Right, Closer okay. to shore. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I just I'm, w- start. I'm with you. I'll so Khan is out. leading the way. <laughs> yes. Yep. Right into okay. some rocks. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there's that there's that moment where the two boats are like quite far apart. And there's a lot of like, you know, what, what you, <laughs> and you guys are like, we're going this way. I'm presuming you're not like shouting to each other. You're keeping relatively low profile throughout this. Mm. Yeah. Well, I don't I know mean, about that. No. 
Yeah. I imagine there's <laughs> shouting and cut, cursing going on. <laughs> God, okay. Why are you so far out of the Wrong way. way! Come on, this way! Come on, this way! This way! This way. There's, this one, way. <laughs> there's one boat that is shouting a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, large. <laughs> Garb okay. just like steers around and follows him. All right. So I need somebody in. I need uh, Khan to lead the way. And I might keep watch. Somebody in Ascalon or Garma's boat to keep watch. Maybe. Sure. I got a keep watch of five. Let me do that. Let's okay. have Khan roll first. I sure. mean, I have five and dice total. And I kind yeah. of look at. Do you want to do a little fishing? I got, I got fishing hook and line. I. It, are we in a hurry? No, I don't think so. We're making good time, I think. Well, maybe we should do it at the end of the day. Maybe we find a good spot. All right, fair enough. I mean, we're out in the middle of the lake, do a little trolling, but that's fine. Uh, but you can't you can't know where we're going and fish at the same time. No, you. Oh, I don't They're know if I'm very... No? Yeah. Ah, right. maybe. Uh, no, it's fine. That's fine. I'll just keep rolling here, and you just enjoy yourself up at the front of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could put it in the water, I guess, and drag it and see if something hits it. I don't exactly. know. Is this shit that hard? I don't know. No, just put it in the water, get the line wet. Do I, I'm not a fisherman. Hey, full disclosure, I know my weaknesses. <laughs> Whatever. Beginner's luck, maybe. Who you? knows? That's all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so I'll, I'll roll first, though. Okay, Harry. Yep. <laughs> and then we'll, okay, here we go. <laughs> yep. God. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Look at that. You're good. Boom. Yeah. All right. So, Con, it sounds like you're trying to get closer to the shore. Is that right? Yeah, I'm watching for rocks. But yeah, a little <laughs> bit closer to the shore for sure. Okay. Okay. Um, so before you even check on keeping watch, oop, here goes Sean. Do, does anybody need a? Do we need to take a, a five minute break for the for the whole crew? That, that'd work well. Awesome. <laughs> Someone says with their teeth floating. <laughs> that would work well. <laughs> I, I would appreciate that. Okay, when we come I'll, back, we'll have the we'll have the yeah. fishing roll. Let's you know what. Let's do the fishing roll. Then we'll I'll, go. <laughs> do, do your fishing roll quick, Sean. Stas. So what is it? Survival. That's survival, but take one away because the boat is just moving. So you're at a minus one modifier. You're but you not, may you get know, a gear bonus from. Yeah, the fishing gotta, line. Yeah, gotta, yeah, if you have a fishing line. Yeah, I yeah. I do. So I t- in my backpack, I got some fishing yeah. line and a lure and a hook. There you go. So you're going to troll. So fishing line and lure is one die. Mm-hmm. It has okay. one, and you're going to you're at a negative modifier for the boat moving along. Look at oh, you, nice. Oh, see, I know what I'm talking about. I don't have any survival. Like that's all. No, no. All okay. right. So on that note, let's we're going to take a break. Let's let's do take a, a five minute break, and I'll be able to look at what three successes on a fishing <laughs> table means. Because I think you just got nice. like a tuna. <laughs> Big musk. Big yeah. musky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sturgeon. Holy uh, shit, what do I Con, what do I do? I, something's going oh, on. What do I do? Oh, oh, we need in, a bigger boat. Bum, bum. There's so much yelling and screaming coming from one place. We're gonna need a bigger boat. And it sinks. Oh, all right. I'll see you in five. So Khan and Stas, uh, not only do you lead the way and kind of, you know, find a, a good path a little bit closer to shore, a little, a little lower risk, but by the end of the, you know, by midday, by the end of a six hour period, the boat is like full of fish. <laughs> You've got three units of fish. You had three successes, right, Stas? No, just right? one. I thought there were three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was three successes, Sean. Why does it only say one then? Why does it say one? Because it is minus. Oh, that's weird. No, it did it wrong. It didn't do it right. Did that I do the die crazy. pool wrong? Maybe. Because I put in the gear die, and then I took a modifier of minus one. How many wits do you have total? Three or four? Uh, three. Three. Oh, you. Did I do it wrong? Huh. The negative, negative die, die actually. The negative die actually removed a success. It did. Yeah. What is that about? That is That's freaky. weird. So I, I don't want to take the time to unwind it. Put three yeah. units of fish in your boat. Yeah. <laughs> it was a fantastic fishing roll. So remember, if you don't cook it, you have to consume it today or it spoils, basically. 
Right. So you've got, you probably got three, four good sized fish in the bottom of the boat, I would think. God, look at this. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You're a natural. <laughs> what do I do with them? We're going to eat them. Oh, of course. <laughs> just leave them in the bottom of the boat. They'll just die. Okay. <laughs> They're, They're flipping flapping. around and going flap, crazy. Flap, flap, flap. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> let, let them expect yeah, yeah. what are those two doing <laughs> I don't know Thanks. but it got quiet it <laughs> like it up. Up. yeah <laughs> got we jinxed it. Seen him. Jinxed pull it. him up like <laughs> look what I've got oh, fishing that's a good idea Garm's like I have fishing line in the bag oh, oh, we'll get to oh. that later okay. alrighty there you go you both fish as you go Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So by midday, uh, if you look at the map, you'll see that you've moved into this little kind of through the narrows. And there's a few islands off to your right as well on that south side of the, you know, by the southern shore. Okay. And you can see the northern shore as well. But um, you can either from here go into open water, which would be the northeast, or you can stick closer to the shore, which is harder terrain, as we discussed earlier, because of all the little shoals and islands and that sort of thing. So if you go to the northeast, you can make good time. If you go to the southeast, you'll, it'll be a slower, slower go. Going out into open water, though. <laughs> <laughs> We're just following you, Con. You know what? Fishing's been good. Maybe we should go south east. Down by yeah. these rocks. I don't know yeah, if I so want to head out in open water. That's fine. We'll be moving a little slow, but yeah. All right. Well, we have to. Would this be basically the end of our day then, Harrigan? If we do this one, correct. Pull up. Oh yeah. Okay. That's correct. So you'll you'll probably put into the shore. Otherwise, I mean, if you think about it, otherwise, if you go two hexes and you end up in the middle of the water, yeah. you're going to have to either keep. But you remember, you do have more daylight as well. Yeah, more daylight. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So it's you not like daylight. It's, yep. You could really power through if you wanted to. Yeah, we're, what are you gonna, let's, let's, say, let's say this. Fast. Let's bring the two boats side by side. So you're kind of, you know, you're taking a breather and you're trying to decide which way we're going to go from here. What do you guys decide? We really haven't gone that far from the shack. Let's, uh... <laughs> it's, it's like we right could, there. It's we right, could right push there. On. <laughs> we could push Our on. Our still would... waving at us. <laughs> we, could, we could push on, but we could we would just get tired. And then we could rest once we... Find a good place ashore. It's true. I mean, if we go, if we if you go out too, you could just just hang up, you know, hang a right or whatever, and make it back to land. Yeah, you can but always hug your the call. coast, right, Con? That's what I was thinking. But there's a lot of rocks out there. It's going to slow us down. Wow. Um. We can't damage the boats. That's bad news. That's true. All right, then. Harrigan, the weather. Calm. It's, it's clear set. skies. How's that lake? Not, How are not, those waves? Not looking? much wind. No, they're <laughs> they're pretty they're pretty placid. Okay. All right. I even it's good, take it's advantage good of the weather as it's good. All right. Go. Oh. All right, here we go. <laughs> so who's gonna lead, Con? Yeah. And which way which way are you going? Into the open water? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Let me uh, expose it, and you make your your roll. I'm rolling. Here. We're good. Okay. I'm rolling. Feel a little nauseous. I'm rolling. <laughs> oh. You go? oh, look at that! <laughs> You're a regular skipper. It is a regular skipper. The smell of the fish. Very excited. Well, it's, it's clear good. skies under that miserable shit we had the other days. Fish. These fish, they're going to taste good, fresh. Not like that salted stuff we've been eating. You're yeah, actually going to be able to it taste out of them. that barrel back at that lady's place. No good. Mm. Not the best. No. It, but it keeps. All right. Yeah. That's, yeah. Essentially, that's essentially cooking it, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Uh, if it's all right, I'm going to fish while we go. I'm going to troll. It is all right. I'm just going to make the offer here. Let me show you a little more of the surrounding area here. All right. Can you guys see a little bit more now? A little bit, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
So you can Ooh. tell and go ahead open and do your water. Yeah. Yeah. So the open, open water to the Northeast. If you go North, it looks like there's some water, but there's probably a shoreline up there somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, to the Southeast looks like open water too. So Northeast and South, or excuse me. Yeah. Northeast and Southeast. Exactly. So that looks, that, that's open water. Yep. And, and okay. that's also open water. Hmm. Do I have any negatives or anything to fishing? You do. You have a minus one because you're trying to make good time more than you are trying to fish, right? You're not sticking around one good spot. But you can What's fish. What's he doing? Hey. Who's fishing? Is Ascalon rowing? Now what the hell? Yeah, we okay. can touch. What are you I, doing? I got a strength of three. I'm not, I'm <laughs> yeah. not like, you know. Oh, yeah. It's, all, it's pretty good. Garm! What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna push? Ooh, I'd love to push. Gonna put that, uh, that hook we've back in the got, water? We've got fish! <laughs> it's interesting. It took my gear and added it as a skill die instead of a gear die. Con, look at those two. Uh, in that case, I'm not going to push because that would be a skull on the gear die, not the skill die. Oh. So, I, yeah. You'll lose, your, lose your hook. Yep, I, I don't want to lose it. So, so, so is there something going on with the, the dice roller? It appears to be. What? What? But you're saying that the gear die didn't show up as a gear die, right? Yeah, no, it sh- it showed up as a, it, it showed, showed up, up as, as a skill die instead. Yeah, is it supposed to do that? Isn't isn't no. the gear die separate? Right, it's black. Depends. Right? It's Kevin, to be. did you roll off your gear? No, I rolled off of survival. That would be that's the problem. Why, that's why. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Okay. All right. Look, yep. We'll just we'll try to correct that going forward. But what yep. you're saying is it would be a gear dive. It's a one, so you're not going to push it. Bingo. You don't you don't want to watch your your line in the water behind you like oh <laughs> yep no nope. bit damn it put that thing away you idiot we got what? fish how much oh. you can think you can eat the day a lot <laughs> give the guy <laughs> hey how, how do they say it can give the I don't give know. the guy a a bone fish give him a fish that's not a saying give him a fish he a eats hand? for a day give him a fishing line and he screws it all up no maybe it's oh. forever i don't know that doesn't make any sense i don't know i don't either i don't know hey man you're making good you're doing you're doing good we're doing all right don't jinx it all right all right Colin, which way are we going now yeah so by by mid-afternoon you've been at it for three hours and you've got open water basically to the east whether you go north or south yeah as a little or you can go towards the northern shore or you can go due south if you want to back towards those Shoals and oh, let's not do that. Let's not do that. You travel four no. hexes to go one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you southwest, are in rowboats. Southwest, we want to stay towards the south shore, or do we want to go north? We want to. We're, we want to go in this direction eventually, right? But I don't know where. You know. Correct. Well, then let's go north and stay by land. Okay. We good with that? You're leading the way. Go. All right. Yeah. Eventually, we're going to have to hit land to eat this fish. I can't cook it here. Well, then let's stay close to shore. We'll cut across the lake. There's an orc delicacy known as sushi. I will teach you. <laughs> plus, sushi. plus, those mountains. They should keep the uh, the Rust Brothers and some of the the Urhur away from us. Huh? Yeah. Maybe. 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 Perhaps. Yeah. Maybe. All right. So we're going to go north here again. Do I have to roll again? Yep. Oh, new every hex. hex, eh? Every yeah. new hex. This is terrifying. Yes. <laughs> this is unnerving. I, I'm doing that right, right? It's, it's every oh, hex. Yeah, I, no, I, yeah. I mean, I just, I know this system. I'm just waiting for it to just nail me. Oh, oh look at this. It will nail us because right. I think <laughs> mishaps on journey I, screws the party. Yeah. I, I will point yeah, out yeah. you failed your first three ro- rolls of this game. So, you know, maybe yeah. you've got a little karma coming. You know? Yeah, here we go. All right, good. Let me get the uh, fog cleared off here. Uh, and do one of these. There we go. Oh, it's that village. Mm. Oh, so oh, that really? is... I need to do one more thing here, but get us to the end here. One sec. Oh, it's not where it is. Not me to do that. Is that that place she was mentioning? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, no. That doesn't the- seem across the way to me. Sounds like we are down a ways from there, no? 
Uh, maybe a little bit. I don't that's know. Pretty much across the lake from where her shack is. That's nice uh, we, I don't know. we don't want to get. We don't. I don't think we want them seeing us out here. What? <laughs> Stop yelling! She could sell the fish one time. No one time. Staz, that's where the Rust Brothers are. Dad. Oh, uh, they, but they don't like them. Don't don't like who? They don't like me. No, they that, don't like the Rust Brothers, the people of the village. No, no, that that's not what she said. She said that they're cowed by the Rust Brothers. You know, their eyes and ears. They well, hate them, that's... but they work for them because they got yeah. no choice. Fair. We could liberate them. What? Right. How do you liberate us? allies? We're going. I thought you said we're going north to make oh. some money. What are we? Yeah, north. Right. That's yeah, 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 yeah. That's where we're it going. is, and that's where we're heading now. We're going to keep going north. Yeah, north. All right. We go uh, north. Here. Yeah, we're going to go. Okay. We're going to. We can't stop here. The village is right there. We have to go. We've got to cut along the coast here. We're going to head northeast. All right, come. So before right, you do one. that, oh, oh gosh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so by the but so by the time you get to that um, where the where the uh, marker is right now, uh, it's about supper time, right? Six p.m. It's the end of Q two, right? So sun is not getting that low because we have summertime uh, light, but it's still pretty pretty far down through the sky. You do see that there's some structures that you can see. Um, you can't quite tell if they're, if they're still standing or if they're older. From from here, or some, it's just you know you're a few miles away. You can definitely see some structures. You don't see anybody out and moving, but that may just be because it's you're you're too far out. Uh, I do want whoever is keeping watch in the other boat to make a keep watch roll. All right. Uh, so. This will be interesting because keeping keeping watch here uh, in the boats gives you, if you're successful, you get a, a preview of what's coming, right? A little, little bit of a take action. So I know what I know what to do. Okay. So who was it that wrote, made the roll? Sorry, Ascalon. Ascalon. Was Ascalon. So while the two while the, the two boats are are heading kind of due north, and you you can see that not only are you heading for. Um, you're heading past the shore and past those structures, but dead ahead of you, there's pretty heavy woods if you can see on the map there. So, mm-hmm. not very far from you know landing on the on the shore, there's pine trees and they're mm-hmm. dense. Mm-hmm. Uh, and above those pine trees, you see three figures flying in the air, winged creatures that look like they might be uh, five or six feet tall or long. They're pretty big. What does Ascalon do when he notices those critters? Uh, I will, I will, I will point. I'll say above the trees is that, and I'll make a lore roll if I can to see if I can figure out who the what the heck they are. But I yeah. think there may be harpies. Go ahead, and make a lore roll. I get thrown up in this game too. <laughs> Oh my heavens! Whole I've read a lot of books. Yes, apparently. Books. <laughs> apparently, I, I take out my Audubon guide. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and you flip. You flip to the to the. Uh, let me see if I have a picture. Actually, mm. one second. There's this really cool um, anime called Ron- Ronja. It's by Studio Ghibli. Um, and there are some freaking terrifying harpies in that in that uh, TV show. They're not very big. I thought there was a way for me to actually show the picture to you. I guess not. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Uh, so these are indeed harpies, women with oh, lank, greasy hair, uh, wings instead of arms, bare breasts, uh, twisted torsos, clawed feet that are kind of clawing at the air as they as they flap their wings. 
they appear to be start circling something in the woods and you see one of them dive down every once in a while and go after it. Um, and it's a pretty good chance if they look your way, they will see you on the lake. Oh my goodness. Uh, get over to the other boat. I don't want to scream. I'll, I'll yell that too. Uh, to Garm. You better take over. No, no. I, no oh. Yep. yep. Get us over to the other boat. <laughs> and I'll come up and I'll be like, there are harpies over there. Three of them. Garm sees them as well. Ooh. Garm looks down at his pack, all of his gear, <laughs> and looks up. How far are we from land? I would say probably not that far. If you see that the you know the, the land encroaches pretty far into the hex, right? A couple hundred feet, maybe, if you wanted to go kind of due west or towards them, right? Because they're over <laughs> the we, forest in the north. If we go towards them, are they far enough into the woods that the woods will actually cover us? You know, you know what I'm talking about? If they're up yep. here and we go towards them, are we actually going to get, you know, covered by the trees? Eventually, but not. Not right away, certainly. Depends on how high they fly, right? At, the, right, right, at their right. current altitude, uh, yeah, you could you could potentially sort sort of sneak in under, under the cover of the, of the trees if you went straight for them, which is what you're getting at. I, I'm I'm going to say I think we should do that. Go straight, go straight at them. Go straight at them. It's the only way. If they catch us out on the lake, we're fucked. We'll never outrun them. In a robot. Uh, we would get into those woods. Mm. I could lead us. Pull, north pull, north. pull. Oh, damn it. And I start pulling. <laughs> <laughs> Garm tries to stealth row, which always goes poorly <laughs> in movies. Yeah. And actually, Stas, you take the oars and I get my bow out and I ready an arrow. Actually, I don't know if I can ready an arrow, but I get my bow out. Take the horse, Stas. Yeah, yeah, I got him. All right, Matt, just go slow. Don't make too much noise in the water. All right, uh, okay. Okay, we're going to test the mechanics here a little bit. Remind me, I think... Mm -hmm. So when you make the... Uh, you were successful at, at your um, keep watch, you can decide to... Just had it where to go. One of the things you can do is sneak away, which I think is what you guys are trying to do, right? Keep watch. Here it is. Forgive me here. I thought I just had it a second ago. Keep watch. Here it is. You can decide whether to show yourselves, set up an ambush, or sneak away undetected. And the sneak is in a font that suggests they mean the skill, right? So you can attempt to do right. a, a sneak check. I don't think you're trying to do any kind of like ambush, right? So you're not going to do that oh. thing where you compare your sneak with their um, scouting, that whole thing, where, you know, depending on how far away you are and all that sort of stuff. But what I am wondering is whether or not I have both groups roll or just one group roll. So let me go to the skill section for a second. Group rolls right here. Choose who among you is best suited to take on the challenge. So which among you will lead a sneak stealth roll? Khan. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> The others may help if it's relevant. So I'll tell you what. Uh, Ascalon kind of gave us some good advice here. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, give me back those stats. Give me back yours. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know the okay. best route. All right. Go ahead. Right. So you okay, see so, it. Go ahead. Uh, is it just a the plus one modifier then? 
Yeah, but hope, but hope don't roll yet. So okay. you, yep. you you basically spy a particularly a tall group, of, you know, stand of trees. And you're like, let's make for those, right? And they're closer to you. It shuts out into the water. Love it. Um, okay. And what I what I want to do for the group roll, so you nominate one person to roll. That's con. And I would say someone in the other boat can help. And I think we've determined that's Ascalon. So, right. And I don't think the people who are sitting and laying low can can help here. So you're going to be rolling your regular. Is it stealth or sneak in this game? Stealth. Mind me. All right. So I'm rolling stealth plus one. No minuses here again. We're all don't good. Roll it. Don't okay, roll it yet. I got go. one thing oh, I want to check. Damn it. Nope, that's, all right. that's all right. That's okay. You know what? They do get. I'm sorry. They, yeah, because that's fine. it used. Because it used the, no, keep your roll, but because yeah. it used the, the word sneak, that means it's stealth versus their yeah. scouting. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Okay. Do you want to push that? They are by whatever they're swimming around. That's <laughs> yeah. what. You want to you push that, that stealth? <laughs> oh, do I want to push it? Oh, really? Are we thinking of this? Uh, well, you only got one success. Well, oh, I right. don't say that in a judging tone. No, no, you I got, got it. Yeah, I got one success against the harpies. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I can push it. I mean, we're coming close to the end of the day. I can always rest. Saying that, though, this is going to impede my ability to shoot these things when they come swooping at us. But here we go. <laughs> <laughs> ah! nice. Booyah! Look All at right. that. Okay. What have you got? Three successes. Three successes. Three successes. Yeah, right. one damage to agility. Is that a willpower point, too? Yes, it is. Oh, I love Heck it. Yes. Time. Good you lucky is. bastard. It is all automatic. I'm looking up. Oh, yes, another willpower. <laughs> I've made one freaking roll this entire game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're the magic user. Zero, you're like, I, I want to make all the rolls. I, I want to do everything. everything. Yeah, I want to. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, all right. So, just for, for future reference, I'm not going to backtrack here. Group stealth rolls are different than regular group rolls. You're supposed, oh, I just found a little okay. passage. You're supposed to take the person who has the worst stealth. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. unfortunate. That, hmm. That's okay. Let's not worry about it because you got three. They, they got one success. So okay. I, as you get closer, you start to hear that. <laughs> just like, what the, what's going on? I don't want anything to do with those three. And they're diving down on something in the woods. They come up and you can see they've got some kind of mangled like meat and entrails coming up. They've got, they're on top of something. But you glide both boats in to this little, this little, uh, you know, you can beach them both if you want to, but you come in below the tree line so that you can hear the harpies, but you can't see them anymore. They are out of your line of sight and you're out of their line of sight, which is the, most important part and that ends the quarter so what do you do it's dark now right it is not dark it is oh, not supper yet. time so the sun is low in the sky which you, have, you probably have three four more three four or five more hours of good light gotcha but you can hear these harpies okay keep going gotta keep going stay close to the trees and now do we hug hug the tree line yeah go up this hug. way yeah, how the tree line? Yes. <laughs> mm. Are you muted? You could. I am muted. Oh, sorry yeah. if we missed up something you were saying there. No, no. It was just him screaming at the harpies. <laughs> starting a combat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Stop let's... making my damn noise. <sighs> you should probably get away from him. Yeah, keep going. Yep. All right. So I'm going to lead the way. And okay. take us in that direction. Okay, so I will. I will offer uh, some not not advice, but some clarity here. Um, it's you know six p.m., so it's the end of Q two. The harpies are still there, so you could certainly try to do your sneak both boats, you know, very close to the shore, kind of along the water, right? In which case, I'll probably make you roll. I'll, I'll follow the proper rules and make the worst. The worst stealth is going to have to roll, but there will be a bonus because you are below the tree line. Right, you're in you're in good position. You could also wait half the quarter and see if the harpies stick around. There's a chance the harpies will come towards you, but there's a chance they'll just fly in the other direction. So you know what I mean. You can you can just hunker down for a while, or you can get a move on. I see a lot of like Keep shaking going. heads for both of those options. I heard they're foul. I want to deal with them. Somewhere a beard reeks. I know. I knew a guy who got puked on one by one. <laughs> and we're on water. Shat on. It was the worst. 
<clears throat> I mean, they're, I they're, they can fly. They're probably from those mountains. Right. They won't be living in the woods. Yeah, they they don't they don't nest on the on the on the sea. They'll no. they'll be flying away from here once they feed. Maybe we maybe we should wait then. I think we should wait, right. but only if we could be quiet. We all look at Stas. <laughs> <laughs> I will be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> all right so there's going to be uh, some amount of waiting it out do you pull the boats in do you uh are you both sitting in the boats just offshore what's the how do you wait oh pull them into shore okay yeah for sure all right so you, you pull the boats in on shore and you get you can actually get into the trees if you want to because the trees like i've described before are pretty close to the water yeah um so pull both boats up uh, who hasn't rolled a die in a while? Let's have Stas. Stas, roll me a d6, and you probably don't want to roll a one. Here it comes. Oh, boy, here we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well done. Well done, Stas. Uh, yep, yep. So that's that's going to mean <laughs> that um, after, say, 30 minutes or so, the, the sounds of these, these shrieking she-devil winged lady things gets louder and louder. As you're looking up, you see their Jesus. shadows go right overhead. And I need the person who has the worst stealth to make a group, a group stealth roll to see if they spot you or the boats. I have a three. 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 Oh, I have four. Con's, con's pretty good. Um, Wayne or Sean, who, which one of you guys wants to roll it? I want to roll it because, you know. Maybe I'll there fail. There you go. Because you're, you're the wizard. <laughs> there right. you go. That's right. All right. So um, I'm going to say this. You're going to get a, give you a bonus because you're in the woods, but you yeah. left the boats out on the lake, didn't you? No, we, <laughs> no, we took we them pulled. up to the shore. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, they're not under the, not on the trees. Right. We didn't carry them into the woods. No. They're beached. Oh, no, we didn't, we didn't beach yeah. them. No. Yeah. So I think it's a wash. You're in the, you're in the trees. But you've got the boats that are parked on the Whoa. on the shore. Harsh, so it's a straight but fair. Roll. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Yes. Good work, can I push buddy. anyway? Sorry. Of course, I you think can. additional Arrogan's stealth. Gonna roll. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. got to roll right. And, and yeah. here comes two skulls. I'm gonna. I'll push it. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you're leaning into the spellcaster part of this where you want the a little bit of the failure. Absolutely. Just a so little bit. Correct me if I'm wrong on this, Sean. These are these are virtually all contested roles, aren't they? These stealth scouting ones when, when you're trying to hide and that sort of thing. Well, oh dear. Yeah, unless it's keep watch. I think guys. you should give them a, a, a negative for being fat, you know, well fed and <laughs> And, not hungry you know, anymore. Not hungry anymore. <laughs> but it's typically one one roll. It's not a check and a check and a check, typically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just one roll. What's going on here is that we got quarters passing and whatnot, right? Right. So we're okay. in a, we're right. a different. Right. Um. Okay, so you got a one. Is that correct? I got one. Yeah. One success. So the harpy's got two. So what oh, we're going to say is they spot the boats. So you hear that screeching and and yowling from above but uh, you know you almost didn't even know it but two of them are up there screeching one of them has come down to the boats and suddenly lands on the beach mm -hmm. with her big taloned feet walking around kind of throwing stones as she walks you can hear her wings kind of shrug and and she screeches and she looks around one way and then the other she takes the boat and she kind of Throws it a little a little bit to the side, so it kind of rumbles up the beach a little bit. Doesn't destroy it, but you can tell that she's kind of looking under it kind of thing. She takes one clawed foot and shoves the other boat, looking under it. Looks back towards the, to the, to the woods. Doesn't We're see you the there. What's We're on that? The water. We're on the water, aren't we? No, no. No, we, oh, we ran in the wood line. We're on the we beach. Oh, we the boats, beach, the we woods. beached the boats bye -bye. And, bye -bye. and went into the woods. Right. We just didn't right. carry the boats into the gotcha. woods. Oh, shit. Right. So one of them, whose boat was that? <laughs> <laughs> was it their boat, Staz, or was that ours? I don't know. D did you grab the fish? No. I thought you were oh, shit. Well, I got one, but I couldn't I, carry all of them. I had to grab my bag. 
Well, yeah, shit. Well, hopefully they'll just eat, take the two fish and take off. Who knows? All right. So the two two of the harpies are, are flying on, like over the mm-hmm. water. But the third is peering into the woods. And then she cocks her head and hisses. She has these horrible fang teeth that stick out of her lips, even when her mouth is closed. So she can never quite close her mouth all the way. She blinks her black eyes and then she starts coming right towards you. Just fucking shoot her. Oh, sure. <laughs> God, shoot her. Just fucking, just fucking shoot her. Sure, I, think sure, should, I think we should do an initiative roll. Yep. She can see something's in the wood, but she's not quite sure what it is. Kevin. Can I wanna, have uh, can I have like readied, like have my shield and my sword? Or totally. like my pack. Yeah. I figure I'm the defender type. Oh, so yeah. we can be readied like I can have the bow readied. Totally. Yeah, you've had a minute. Okay. I mean, you, right. you were basically, cool. you know, this is taking taking place over the course of like an hour, right? Where you're yeah, yeah. hiding out, cool. you beach the boats, get in the woods. I would imagine when you heard right them on. coming closer, you guys got everything ready for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. So I need to do a harpy on the front. I'm going to switch to the Forbidden Lands page and draw you guys here. Stinking harpies. <laughs> Indeed. Take her and put her down here. Well, I think this one's going to have a better outcome. It's not in the air. It's going to be a lot harder for True. it to puke on us. Though I'm not from armored. This direction. No. <laughs> you are not armored. It's true. Okay. I just need to get the uh, token here. One second. And then we'll do the combat round. So I'll reset the deck. Okay, so draw cards, and those of you who have abilities to draw more than one card, you can do that. Khan, Stas, Ascalon, the Harpies, and Garm. All right, so we'll start the... Um... No. Go ahead. Sorry, can't we switch initiative cards after we roll? If you can speak to each other, yeah. Yeah. I'll. And you have... An I'll... And you have okay. what, Sean? And the other person has an acted, I believe. Right? Or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I am going to um I'm going to basically tell Garm, yeah, no, go this way. So and I'm going to, to switch cards with him. So at the end. Okay. So you guys tell me, um, I don't think you went very far into the woods, right? It's probably short range right. from right. the okay. edge of the woods to the, I think. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. And uh, sorry, so two of you are switching cards. Is that right? So I was going to switch with Garm so he could go before the harpies. Right. Ascalon is going to switch Smart. with Garm. Okay. So I think I can oh. just change this, can I? You could just change the... Just drag and drop them. Yeah. Or switch numbers. You can drag and Smart. drop. Um, Don't see that, but I think I can not. switch numbers. I'll make Ascalon a seven. Eight. Yeah. And then Garm becomes a three. All right. Con. This loping bird she-devil is coming towards you. What do you do? All right. I will fast action aim. Because I've ready. So I've ready the weapon last round. So fast action aim and then slow action fire. And because I aimed, that'll cancel the negative one short range mod. Got it. So I'm just, I'm just rolling, dude. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Nice. Two successes, right? No, she's not going to dodge. So what damage is that? Okay. All right. So the your arrow flies out of the woods, plunges right into her torso. She doesn't miss a beat, just keeps coming towards you. She just happens to now have an arrow sticking out of her. Screeches. And here she comes. Uh, Stas, what are you doing? Uh, 
I'm going to. I'll pull up my hand axe. And then so I. So you're going to try wait. to close the range because she's at short range right now. Uh, I will go to near. And hold up my hand axe. So you're basically, you come out of the trees, emer- emerge from the trees, and you're like on the on the edge of the beach. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. With your axe. Yeah. And if, you, if she comes closer, I'll let you whack her with your axe. Sure. Okay. Garm. I am going to, uh, I'm going to move twice. I'm going to go from short to near to, what's it called? Arms length. Arms length. I'm going to close yep. with her. Gotcha. So you're going to basically <laughs> intercept her. Yeah, I, and I just charged oh, right up. I got this. <laughs> and he's got it. Perp- he's not wearing his armor, but he's got his shield and his sword. Okay. So Stas Garn blows right by you, running out of the woods. Heavily armed orc looking to intercept the, the harpy. And I want to make a roll here. Give me a second. Have at you, you cruel bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right. So you have no actions left to defend, do you? I get a free parry every round of combat with Defender. Do you now? I do. All right. Well, that's good because as you come closer, she kind of crouches down and she sees that, you know, not only is there one combatant here, she's got an arrow in her, there's two of them on the beach now, and this big orc comes thundering out. She does one pump with her wings, just <laughs> lifts her whole body off the ground, there, those talons come up, and right at your face, you're going to try to gouge your eyes out as you have your shield and your, and your, you're going to try to parry with your shield, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this attack, I'm going to get some dice rolling here. Oh my, I can just click it. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see the results. See the nope. one failure, but that's it. Okay, the one, there's also the one, one success. So you'll need to parry at least one die. Okay. Oh dear. Whoa, my, whoa, whoa, what? Wow. What? Wow, wow, wee, wah. No problem. <laughs> All right. So oh, you, you, I, I bash the, she's like going to rake me and I actually like push forward with the shield faster than she was bearing down. So I like jam her fingers, <laughs> jam her talons in. There's a, probably a loud metal scratch yep. sound. Scrapes right down the shield. <laughs> she screeches and, and lifts back and then lands back on the beach again. And then I'm, and that's her move because she, uh, Ascalon. What are you doing? You're in the woods. Um, I am going to crap. I've got to get closer. You'll cast yeah. any of my spells. I guess I will. I will move, and but I will save a a fast action in case I have to jump out of the way. Okay. Uh, I think that ends the round, correct? So you probably, I don't think you can save action from one round to the next in this game. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I think they end. Oh, that's true. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's so right. if you want to do something else with your fast action, you can. I will draw my, um, I will draw my hand. <laughs> Watch out, bitch. I got a hand. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> The look on your face was priceless. <laughs> I draw my hand. My hand. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go to the next turn. Nope. I'm going to go to the next round. How do I do that? Right. There should be Here. a it depends. automatically yep. go. And we have to draw cards again, don't we? We. Or does do it stay in that order? Not. Stays in that order. Okay. So, Con, back to you. You've got several people in front of you now, by the way. Yeah. Orc, orc is in hand-to-hand. 
Stas is close by with his axe. <clears throat> Ascalon's moved forward. All right. Well, hmm. Garm looks like he's pretty confident with that shield. I... <laughs> There's no like penalties with Garm fighting with the harpy, is there? If I fire my bow, are there penalties here again? Penalties if you're firing your bow at the harpy beyond Garm, yes. Or yeah, there is. She, she basically has cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Well, um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my slow action to move to near. Okay. And I'm going to ready the bow. And that's my turn. Okay. That's my fast action, the readying it. Everybody Maybe getting off to one action. side to give you, you could like yeah. move laterally a little bit, right? Sure. Because I'm, I'm picturing, nearby. yeah, Garm is like right in your path, but you just move off to the left type of thing. And cool. There's no sign your, of the other ones, the other harpies, right? They're nothing swooping back. They're still flying ahead. Gotcha. That's correct. Okay. Overhead. Right, cool. Cool. Uh, Stas. And you're nearby right now, I think. I am. I will close up next to Garm, and then I will attack. So I'll get into arm's length and attack with my axe. Stas, the, the peddler, has no fear of melee combat. I love it. Ah. Ah. Holding my Gets own. right in there. Whoa! Oh, I thought that was a three. Sorry. Mm. No. Uh, you can push. Damage your weapon. Oh, it's got. Is it on my weapon? Yep. Oh, got a one on the hand axe. Yeah, that's no. That's no yeah. bueno. No yeah. bueno. I, I miss. All right, you step in. She she moves back, and you, you decide against getting closer. But the, those flashing talons. Uh, and that means we are on Garm. He's been waiting for this. Yep. So he yep. kind of. She landed back down to the ground, so he crouches behind his shield, keeping it close, and then he like makes like he's going to bash her with the shield, but then does a spin and brings the broadsword across, going for the neck height again. Okay. Decapitation is his move. It is. Does a spin. Ooh. Hmm. One success. Two damage. Two damage. Uh, not going to push because that's going to damage my ability to do other stuff. Yeah, two. Sure. Mm -hmm. I need willpower points, but not that bad. Sean, can you, do you happen to remember if, if monsters can dodge? Oh, I don't know. One second, if you don't mind. You're good. I don't know. It's right at the front of the monster section. I just have to get there. Where they have a bunch of special rules what monsters can and can't do. I think they could if they used an action to do it, right? Like, yeah. I mean, they've yeah, got a fast and a slow action. So as long as it's an action. Yep. Absolutely. Let's do it. I think a dodge is a move, correct? So, so let's see if, if agility and move. Yeah. She has to beat one. She does not. All yes. right. So that was that was two damage. Mm -hmm. Just describe de decapitating this poor harpy. Is it? Oh, uh, yeah. He kind of pushes the shield towards her to kind of get her to rear up a little bit. And then he kind of does a jump spin and goes straight for the neck. It, it's a little angled because he's coming from probably below her because you described her as being kind of tall and with the wings mm -hmm. and everything. So yep. a little bit of an angled decapitation. His sword probably gets stuck in her clavicle a little bit and he's <laughs> yank it off a little bit. Lucky those bird bones are hollow. Right. All right. So you take her down. Blood just splatters and, and burbles all over the beach, soaks into the stones, drains into the lake. So her, her talons and feathers, feathered wings twitch. She lays there. You pull your sword out. Uh, ahead, the two harpies do look like they're. Go ahead, ask one. I'm sorry. I, I was going. I was just going to say, you're, flip the you're, boat. Oh, yeah, go flip ahead. Flip the boat over on her, and let's <laughs> run back into the woods. <laughs> okay. 
That's all right. that's what I, that's what that's going. Yep. So we're out of combat rounds for, for the moment. So you can certainly do that. Because what I was going to say is, you can tell that the two harpies have kind of they're now loitering, kind of looking around like, what the what? <laughs> so let's see if you can do it. This will be if you can do this quickly enough, right? If you can make the right move, make a make a move challenge to get the corpse covered. I think that's what you're after, Ascalon. Yeah. Right. And now in this case, I think the the person who is Strongest, fastest, et cetera, can whoever who has the best move can go ahead and do that. I gotta move it too. All those days in the whoa, move a f- oh no. I mean I have a I, yeah, I have a five. Yes, you no, I'm no. no I'm damaged. I only have oh. a four. Yeah, I currently have a move of five. And go. Okay. If I can I'm help sorry. him, I'll help him. Yeah. Yeah. You can help him. Uh, okay. Oh. May I push this? Yes. Oh, sweet pushing. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, hey, no. Two, two willpower points. I'll take that. Yeah. All right. So, so you're dragging it over, and as you cover her body, you hear the screeches in the in the sky. Oh, you guys God. have been been made, all four of you. So what do you what do you do? You've got a you've got a moment where they're you know they're probably a hundred feet or more in the air, uh, maybe even two hundred feet. So they're coming in. But what do the four of you do on the beach? Into the we, woods. Yeah, should we should head into the woods, right? I'll go behind yeah. the first tree, so they have to pass me. Hopefully, now we're gonna fight two of them. Right. We got like yeah. this. Should we just hide in the woods? Are you gonna hide or are you gonna try to no. like? Forget Make these time. guys. No, no. I'm just gonna ready my weapon. <laughs> and get, okay. I guess go into the woods so that I'd be short range from the shore. Let's let them come in to the woods. Let's make them come in. Okay. So we go deeper in. Go deeper in. We run away. Stash, you on board with this idea? Yes. So the the four of you basically um, gather up and retreat back into the woods. How far? Smash our boats. Uh, Shit. Long range? Further? Yeah. Yeah, I think that by my boats. (laughs) Do you do any kind of like taunting or waving or like let them see you? Or are you guys like beating feet as fast as you can? I'm going to beat feet, but that's just me. What about the rest of you? Yes. Yeah. yeah I, I, I don't think I, yeah. I, all I would say is let's not get into a clearing. <laughs> you know? Right. Uh, Garm tries to, to fight rear, rear guard. He tries to make sure he's last. He's between the group and the <clears throat> harpies. Okay. But you're going to go about long distance into the woods from the beach yeah. and you're going to stop there. Yeah. Okay. All right. The two of them swoop down onto the beach as you guys take up your positions and you can have whatever weapons you need ready and all that stuff. Um, they both land. The boat does cover their sister, but you forgot the head. <laughs> that was the, <laughs> that was the failed role. So her head is sitting there with its, with its fangs and its blood all over. Um, and they just wail when they see her. And there's just a fury of fluttering wings and slashing talons and they come bolting for the woods. They saw you go into the woods from, from the air. So they're coming right for you. So let's go ahead and pull initiative again. We'll, we'll reset the, the uh, tracker here. So I'm going to do this. Uh-oh. I'll reset the deck. They are monsters. They cannot, they are. Be, they cannot be parried. I, I saw that right after I let uh, Mr. Kev parry them. <laughs> Crap. Are you uh-huh. serious? Serious. Uh-huh. Wow. They're bad news. Can be, you yeah, can dodge bad. them. Yep. Dodge only. Uh, all right. Ooh, so I want to man, I have so many different things that allow me to parry, though. Okay. So you can pull your cards now. Two. Ooh. Shit. Well, I'm definitely. 
I definitely let somebody else go first. Um, <laughs> it's got the switcheroo. I've, I quite uh, like that mechanic where you can yeah yeah swap yeah. spots. Um, can faint too. Yep. I not monsters. <laughs> Again, I'm assuming uh, Khan has his bow out, so I'm gonna actually let Khan go first. They're they're still long range though. Um, my short bow won't reach them. Well, it'll reach for anybody. The short bow won't go long range. No, it's a short. It only goes short range. Hmm. Crazy. Yeah, it's a little limited. Well, it's so still going to be. Get the long bow. Yeah. It. You're still going to be in range before anybody else is. Uh, well, I'm. I'm going to hold position so that I can aim and then shoot. I, I actually want to go after them. Let them. Let them go oh. first because they they'll only get to near range. So it's like they'll run right into me, and then I'm going to let fly this round if that's their move. So okay, maybe All hand right. it off to Garm or Staz. Well, okay. Will that help any of you, either of you? If not, I'll just – because I I'm not, I can't do anything at, the, at long range either. Yeah, I, have, I don't have anything. I got a hand axe. All right. Um make sure I don't uh, miss anything. Range arm length. Range near. Range arm length. <laughs> range near. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'll, I will. Um, you will what? Who are you going to swap Shit. with? Well, I mean, I d- it doesn't. It does, it's not going to help the swap with anybody. It sounds like so. Well, uh, eventually it'll help. It'll help if once we get into melee. So, Garn. Yeah, it's a permanent. It makes most right? sense. So, right. Okay, so Aslan becomes Garn. a three, and Garn becomes a one, right? right. Okay. They've been switched. So the harpy's next. Give me one second. I want to do this. Okay. Uh, They do indeed. Uh, They both gather on the beach. They gather stones in their talons kind of start picking them up and then they lift off the ground with their wings and they start coming towards you sort of flying low through the trees um, coming your way. And they do cut the, they cut the range to um, short. So they don't come the whole way because they took a moment to gather stones off the beach. And then we have, they're both screeching. You can actually hear some, uh, some common tongue type stuff now. Like, Kill my sister. We'll disembowel you. They're screeching at you now. Ascalon, it's your turn again. Okay. Uh, what can I do with Tom? Oh, wait. I, I, we skipped Garm. Garm, what were you, you doing? You say Garm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I always skip Top Garm. of the order, Garm. I know. <laughs> yep, skip. Uh, I, I don't know that I really do. I make sure that I'm between us and yeah, the harpies. You're, you're the wall. Right. And I kind of just, uh, I, they picked up a whole bunch of rocks. I kind of, I put my back to a tree, but make sure I'm in front and kind of, I'm like clearly making it known that I'm behind that tree, but I'm trying to keep a little bit of cover between me and them. I'm not sure what they're planning, but uh, okay. most things so the, who pick up rocks, throw them. So the tree <laughs> is between you and them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. All right, now we can go to Ascalon. Um, so we're still some distance away, right? They're entering the trees. Right. I am. So are they? Are they they're in short range? They are currently short range, yeah. Okay. And flying towards you, like they're they're planning on getting closer. 
Uh, I'm going to have to wait until they get into near range. So I will just, I will, you know, uh, I guess I'll use my slow action to, you know, try to be unobtrusive and, um, and I'll get ready um, to cast my spell once they get within near range. So you got the hand out again. Yeah. Um, okay. Con, are you doing anything different? I'm going to aim and shoot my bow. Okay. Yeah. So with it, them being in short range, my aim will negate the distance. So I'm just rolling straight up. So the short bow is a piece of crap. If it has a modifier for short range, it can only go short range. It can't yeah, it can go, long. go short range. Yeah. Right. It's a terrible range weapon. That's why. Well, I mean, the only other range is long. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's, that's why yeah. short range is still out there. That's why I was always looking for a long bow. Yeah. There's also there distant, go. right? There's also what area? Distant in terms of that's range. Just, yeah. It's oh, as far yeah. as you can see. Yeah. So, yeah. The hit? Yeah. Yeah. One. Okay. So one of those um, feathered harpies, you put another shaft into. Some flat from feathers come down, but she's yeah. still coming on. Sure. Just one damage. Okay. That's Stas. my turn. Yep. Oh, God. Stas. <laughs> God's like, Ooh. Oh, man, I'm too far away and I'm not going to. I stand my ground. Okay. So in terms of who's where, I'm picturing Garm is closest with his back to a tree, right? If, I suspect that Khan's probably moved to a, where he's got some, a, a gap through some trees where he's shooting. But Ascalon and Stas, you're probably short, a, tr a short distance behind Garm, correct? So if they come on, they're going to run into Garm first and his tree. True? Yeah. yeah. I guess, yeah. Okay. So a lot of lot of standing ground uh, for the moment, and we're back to we're at, at round two. So Garm, what you, what's your uh, what's your action with them at short range? Uh, I'm going to move to engage. Is it short to near and then near to? Actually, I need to check ranges. Sorry, it'd be yep. too fast. It'd be too fast oh, actions. No, nope, I there. don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> I have a weapon. Uh, I think I just stand my ground. Yeah. Let them close in a little more. Okay. That works. And that means they come, uh, they continue to fly forward, and that takes them to near range, correct? And at that point, they both rear and screech and just start whipping these stones at you. So they've kind of got a few more rocks in the folds of their flesh so they can throw one, they can grab another one, they pick some more off the ground. And what it really means is rain of rocks. I will dodge. Everyone is going to be attacked by this by this attack. All four of you are attacked by yeah. it. But they, they're acting as a group, just so you know. The two of right. them go together. Uh, and I'm going to give uh, <clears throat> Garm. You were behind a tree. You still behind a tree? Mm-hmm. So I'll probably give you a couple of um I'll I'll lower their attack against you unless you're how does cover work? I'm trying to remember. That's a good question. I think they lower, it's more difficult for them. It doesn't give you a bonus to because you know to your dodge or anything. I think it's it's harder for them to hit you. So I'm gonna roll individual dice against all four of you. Let's do. That's against Stas. So Stas, that's two coming at you unless you can dodge. I can't Use your dodge. Attack. Yep. Mm. The base damage so is cover, one. So cover works like an armor rating. Oh, okay. Um, cool. So I'll let you roll an extra so two dice. A tree, uh, a tree drunk has an armor rating of five. Whoa, how about that? Yeah. But I mean, you may decide it's not. I mean, what I'm understanding yeah. what it is. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, I got you. Or on page I don't, I, I'm not picturing book. Garm being behind a tree that's big enough to hide him. I'll say that. No, no. Right? I was purposely trying to pick a smaller one so that. Yeah. So that that'd be between the lowest is three, which is furniture, and then four is a door, and five is a tree trunk. So got it. Got it. Let's let's uh, resolve Stas first. So Stas, okay. you're going to take two damage unless you can dodge. Cannot. Pelted by stones and other debris they found on the beach. Son of. Next up, let's do Garm. Garm, I'm going to give you three dice of cover for that tree. Okay. So if it's damage, damage did if I take? It, two. Ouch. Ah. This is for Garm. What the? <laughs> Get ready, Garm. Oh, did you roll well? So uh, yeah. I'm sorry, how much armor? Three? Yeah, so if you do get hit, and you did, you're going to have... Okay, so you took one away. Yep. But yep. you also can dodge or do that kind of thing too, right? They haven't yep, tried to right. do that. Yeah, yeah. Right. How I can't see what your result was. So how much, oh, I'm so I'm I'm sorry, guys. I, I, those, I'm yeah. presuming yeah. you're seeing that. No, it's okay. So I, Sean, there were two successes against Stas. There were four successes against Garm. Okay. Yep. I will try to dodge. Which I should do from the combat tab, not from the. Ooh. Oh, except oh, I took damage head. to this one. Oh well. Nope. Oh, <laughs> I just damaged and, my agility earlier. <laughs> no, not going to push? No? No. No. Okay. No. So you knock off one of their successes and take three damage from the stones pelting yeah. you. Jesus. And then let's do Khan, who's <laughs> shaking his head. <laughs> Two successes coming your way, Con, unless you can dodge or, or do something like that. Oh, I'm going to dodge. Okay. So one, one damage. Okay. And then finally, Ascalon. I, I did say I was trying to get some cover. But I'll give you With three just, like, just okay. like we, right. we gave to. Um, in fact, uh, sure. yeah, I don't think these trees are huge. I'll say that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So you've got three successes. These harpies are rolling like banshees. <laughs> Crazy. So uh, first do your before you roll your armor from the tree, go ahead and do your like your defensive action, your dodge. Yeah. Ah, so you dodge one. Okay. Now so I'll you do my potentially dodge, two dodge. damage. Yep. Uh, and then do your armor. Character sheet. Uh combat. Oh dear! Wow. So you end up taking two damage to your trim. So th these things are yeah. terrifying as they come in through the woods, streaking and then no just shit. whipping these stones. Like bark is flying, leaves are coming down, branches are falling off, and you're getting the ooh, oh, oh, bouncing off you guys, just slamming into you. And who goes okay. next? I think it's Ascalon. Oh geez. Okay. Well. Um... <laughs> <laughs> are they are they uh, near yet? They are indeed at near range. All yes. Right. So I will blow my one willpower point and use consume the hand, which I will use as another willpower point. So I'll, it's a power to spell. Um, it's, and what's your what's your mastery? One or two? Two. Okay. Uh, so where is, I don't so see, what? I don't see how to increase the power level on the With spell. your hand, with your hand, the, um. Right, right. I'm, I'm talking about when I click on the spell to make my roll. Oh, oh It just bad. says one die on it and I don't see a way to increase it. Uh, I'm trying to. Remember, there was like certainly, it comes up with yeah. the die pool, doesn't it? And then you add it. No, it just gives me a, it just says hand of doom and it says, you know, one die power level one. Um, I don't see 
ingre- oh, wait a minute. ingredient. There it goes. Sorry. Yeah. All right. All right. Safe, yeah. but no extra power. So what does that mean? Does that mean is that two damage? That's two damage. To their strength? Yep. Okay. I'm going to uh, target the one that has the arrow one, by the way, if I can. Okay. One second here. All right. Yeah, she- so, so basically, once again, I come out with that hand and the flesh rots off of it and the skeletal hand like streaks forward to grab her heart. Through the woods, streaks in through her rotten bosom right into the middle of her of her chest. She shrieks, kind of spins around, bangs off a tree, lands on the ground with her with her talons. You've knocked her out of the air, but she's still up and going. She still has an arrow sticking out of her as well. And then we have uh, Khan. I also want to do a time check. Are we okay to go into the top of the hour, guys? Mm-hmm. Okay. I am. Khan. Uh, I will use my last fax, uh, fast action to just ready an arrow to my bow. No, because you dodged? Yep. You can use a slow action if you want to. Uh, no, that's fine. I mean, because I got to ready an action anyways. So no, oh, that's my turn. Because, because of the uh, the action economy of bows. Yes. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. So you, get it ready. So you get a chance to train that crap. Well, so that's why. That's why I was yeah. so. I wanted. I needed to hit that. Yeah, man. Earlier to the end. Yeah. Of, you know. Yep. Stas. It's, it's a furious combat here. Yeah. Ugh. Nobody's. Is Garm engaged in melee yet? Nope. nope. I'm not going He's... in there. <laughs> 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 He'll be right behind, behind you. I'm behind a tree. Gar- Garm has like one hit point left. Wait, one Uh-oh. point of strength left. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, I only have one point of strength left. So you I take cover uh, behind a tree. Yeah, I take Got cover it. behind a tree. Got it. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. Uh last call. That's the end of the round. Takes us to the top <sighs> of round three, which is Garm. So they're, uh, you know, they're 10 feet away, right? They're near right. near range. Um so I dodge and I'm laying on the ground. So I use a fast action, fast action to stand up to get up. Oh Jesus! Here we go. You know what? Uh, yeah, for each of you who did dodge, yeah, like I know that, stats, that, was, you, my, that yeah. was my. I didn't ready my weapon. I stood up. Damn it! <laughs> Got it. Oh, Christ. Sorry. That's okay. Whatever. Can man, I cast a spell laying on my back? <laughs> you can absolutely. Yeah. All right. Uh, absolutely. So okay. I stand up and then I am going to. Well, that's a that's nasty having to get up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's dodging. Pretty, yeah, yep, that's pretty nasty. Um, well, I, I'm not going to dodge again. I'll just keep this train going. Uh, I close in with the one that's taken the arrow and the hand of doom. I charge in at it. Ah, you ugly bitch! <laughs> <laughs> All right, one that's on the ground. The other one's sort of. Half hovering. Yeah. Yep. Touching yep. down Boom. and getting back in the air. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so it's likely Garm will be the source of their attack, but let's find out what they do here. We go to their round. And I do one of these. So that eye gouge we talked about before, here it comes again. <laughs> yep. And I can't parry it this time. Yep. So yeah, you you get your shield up, and the talons are are already throwing sparks off the shield. She's just trying to rend the flesh from your body, and then she tries to come over top of the shield at your face. And oh dear, three successes. You can try a dodge. Uh, three successes, no, and I'm at a. Okay. I'm at a. Jesus. I'm I'm reading how one of my talents works, but that'll become relevant in a second. <laughs> <laughs> it might because three successes and the base damage is two. Oh, Good God. Holy so balls. Is, yeah. Okay. And there's, there's more Matt, to it than that. Her- Her- we'll Harrigan's get to Harrigan's that. Get to his TPK early. <laughs> 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 With harpies. Their bodies are strong. Uh, 
Oh, sorry. I'm reading how this works. I'm going to post it. Um, I think I'm going to spend my two will PowerPoints <clears throat> to give myself back two strength. Mm. Or excuse me, I'm going to spend one to give myself back one strength. Okay. Um, what I don't know is do I take a critical injury? Because I would have been broken. If, so you, let me put it this way. If you can't fully dodge this attack, you will take a critical injury to right. your eyeball. For every point you spend, you recover one point of the broken in the broken attribute. You can't use this talent unless you are broken. Talent does not affect. It's interesting. Just it, like so, the way the 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 talent works is like it's to keep me from breaking. But I think I take a critical injury regardless. But I'm not broken afterwards. Say that. You talk about your your orc talent. Yeah. 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 So, so is that I, only only if you're broken, or you just invoke it? No, I, I have to be broken to use the talent. Okay, okay. So we have a, a few. I think the thing you have to do to chain this all together: use your willpower to add your strength, right, to your strength. But you have to right. make your dodge roll to see what the actual amount of damage is going to be. No, um, I take no. the damage. It breaks me. Then I spend. Oh, yeah. It, when you, you are broken, to, you're not going to try to dodge. I don't have the action to do it anyway. Yeah, he doesn't okay. have the action to do it anyway. Right. Uh, yeah, my bad. it's when when you are broken by any kind of damage, you can spend willpower points to immediately get back on your feet. For every point you spend, you recover a point in the broken attribute. Ah, uh, my bad. Okay. You right. cannot use this talent unless you are broken. And then the last so, line says the talent does not affect critical injuries. So what I was trying to figure out was, do I take a critical injury, but yep. I'm still not broken? Yeah, I think I think that is the way it works. Okay. You take the critical, but after you expend the will, you're effectively not broken anymore. You have one strength. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the table for a, a bit of a, a ruling here. So the uh, we can narrate the first part of this, Kevin. Basically, mm -hmm. she slashes right across your eyes, and right. this is what that's what breaks you, and you get automatically as part of her ability a severed eye. Oh, uh, excuse me, excuse me, a slashed eye, um, which has a healing time of like two d six days, I think. Mm -hmm. And you well, will have minus minus two to marksmanship and scouting just from her slash across your face. But it also does four damage, which breaks right. you, right? Right. And then you can pick up and narrate from here. What my question is to the table, does he get another critical injury? I think he may get another critical injury. I, I, don't, because he's, I don't think so, man. Zero. I mean, that is a critical injury. <laughs> yeah. Because it, yeah. I mean, oh, I see what you're saying. I, I, what do you think, can, Sean? Can you, get, you only get one, no? One turn? How one does what? he get more? How does he get more than one? I guess is the question. Her ability inflicts a critical injury if he takes any damage at all. So okay, even we'll, if he were, were to have eight strength and she does one, yeah. you still you still get a slashed eye. Sure. But she also dropped him, she broke him, which is normally right. a critical injury. Yeah, I think it he's do you're doing the same damage to him. You're 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 poking his eye out. So you don't Break them and then break them again because you're poking the same eye. The, the I'm going to agree with you guys, but the slash doesn't depend on being broken. It just it immediately gives you a critical I injury anyway. But, I mean, oh. the point of the point of critical injuries is it gives you an injury that is really hard to yeah yeah to, right. so deal. So so, I, I don't, so Garm, giving him yeah. another one doesn't seem to be pick up and narrate Garm from from gotcha. you know I think she probably like it's vicious, but Garm is about to turn it on right. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. I, comes across his face and he and it's kind of i almost imagine it's like thor from thor ragnarok like yeah. like he ducks out of the way and he comes back and his eyes just bloody wreck of a mess i imagine because you said it it heals naturally across a number of days yeah right, two to right? six days so i it's just blood everywhere it's not like pulled out you know right. that type of thing it's more more the area around the eye it immediately swells and blocks his line of sight. And he just turns back to her and just grins and just <laughs> like growls at her. <laughs> I try that again. And then he stands his ground. Dude. All right. Move. <laughs> Skill. <laughs> he can't. He didn't have any actions. Man. I didn't He's have any actions. <laughs> no, no. That's, but that's the harpy's action. So we move on to yep. Ascalon now. So, um, Garm is like face to face with one of them, right? The other one's behind her, hovering. I'm rolling to see how long it takes. 
if it's necessary. Uh, five, five days. Um. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so he's got the one that's on him, and there's another one that is hovering above him. Yep, behind. Um, yep. Retreat. Flee? <laughs> Are we fleeing? Yes. <laughs> no enemy at arm's length. Flee. Move action. <laughs> All except Gurm. Gurm uh, is at arm's length now. That's what I mean. Okay, I am going to. Um, Take a fast action. That's slow. Yeah, but I could retreat, and if that's successful, then flee. So just definitely. Yes, on your on, yeah, before <laughs> before they act again, you could. Right. So if you guys want to run away, we can do that. We can try. Man, I'm not hanging around for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hand in. Love it. <laughs> See ya. Stas, I don't have a missile weapon, and I sure as hell can't go toe to toe with three harpies. Well, two, but yeah, yeah exactly. Two now. Uh, and one's hurt. Uh, yeah, one's I don't know, badly man. hurt. I got one strength left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one strength, then I'm broken. And then that's <laughs> yeah. bad news. Yeah, then it's over. Then it's critical wounds, and that's like death time. Uh, so, goddamn is there no... potions in this game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. There's no move that is a fast action, right? Mm. Uh, run. 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 But that's not what Which we're trying to do. Changes the range band. Yeah. Retreat. Run. Flee. <laughs> we are fleeing. All right. GTFO. I'm going to... Get up. <laughs> I'm going to retreat um, with my fast action. And then with um, my slow action. You're at enemy, you're at arm's length. No. Then you don't retreat. Yeah. Okay. So then how, do, how the fuck do I move? You just, I mean, you just run. run. You run, run and you make a move check. Yeah. If you're okay. in a and, rough zone. And then I'm going to roll my zone. attacks of opportunity and I'll have a flanking bonus. Okay. So and... I, will, I will I will run in my fast action and then my, I'm trying, uh, but in my um, <laughs> basically beat feet. <laughs> slow action, I am going to turn, I'm going to um, launch a a, ser- a, a series of Elven curses at the one hey. that is at the at the wounded, you know. I, I'm basically going to call her a bloated turkey, you know. Um, at, at the one that is a, a, the closest to um, to Gar, okay. Yeah, the so one that's just slashing in the face. This is my taunt, okay. Mm-hmm. So this is a performance roll. Not going to cast a spell. I don't have any more fucking willpower. Oh, okay. <laughs> got it. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, man. I, I, no, I got it. It's that's my good. frustration. Yeah. Dude, I'm so. with you, man. Go yeah. for it, bro. All right. Sean, do you know taunts work against monsters? Um, oof, I, yeah, it just I says you can taunt an enemy. Yeah. Th- if it it just must says understand enemy. our language. And they've that been speaking be the to key. us. Yeah. Though they're speaking to us. So they yep. must. Uh, they do. Yeah. They yeah. do. So uh, that's. Uh, all right, so roll. The so performance for taunt. Mm-hmm. I got one success. We're not fleeing. <laughs> the enemy's yeah. angered. Choose flee. one of the following effects. Okay. So he can't, gonna, he can't flee. He's got to run. I can't flee. I'm running, and then I and so I'm going to take the enemy. Enemy is distracted. Just to give him, just to, I'm just trying to give him a chance to get away. You sure you don't want to anger them and have them come at you? Is it, are you sure? Because you can choose that too. That's a weird. Yeah, thing. I am. Okay, but that, that actually, you know, there is tactical benefit to that too because it means they have to cross the distance, right? Because you are, and correct me if I'm wrong now, Wayne. You were at near. You're now at short. Right. I guess. Yeah. I think. I think Ascalon ran to short range, turned, and. 
gave them his best elven taunt. Okay. Which, and you were successful, yeah. right? We got, we got yeah. one. Yeah. So um, they're at, yeah. Well, I guess I could try to pull one of them off of him. Yeah, I'll do oh, that. I have to, sorry, I have to roll their insight. Hang on. What is the difference between run and flee? Flee or out of combat if you're successful. No. I'm, yeah. Oh, okay. But run isn't? If you don't run is just move, move a band. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh, that probably beat me. That they do have to beat me? They tied yeah. you. If you roll more, so it did not work. You taunted. She just looks over well, at you. Elvin, Phil, I will disempower you. <laughs> <laughs> One trick pony on that, you know? You got disembowel yep. and disembowel. All right. Yep. <laughs> Easy. All right. Sorry, Gar. It's all right. Oh, you're you good. at least got you're yourself good. to short range, right? You're good. Con. Okay. No, we're not done. Okay. okay. So I'm in near range. Yep. Ready my bow. And you're up. I'm not fling. Yep. Yeah, I'm not fling. So I'm st- I've stood up last oh. round. So yeah, I ready my bow and I'm going to fire at the one that's because one's taken damage, right? One took one yes. arrow already plus and the, the spell. Yep. So that one I'm going to blast and I'm going to activate my pride. My arrow always hits its mark. <laughs> oh, pride. Yay! I think nice. you activate the pride if you miss, right? I don't even. Have uh, a pride. No, I can. I think I can just do it um, because I want to max. Like I want to do mega damage on this thing, ideally. Gotcha. And get multiple successes. Uh, so because it's near, there's no penalty. Yeah, I'm not okay. So I'm just rolling, and then oh, no. I'm gonna hit my pride. <laughs> oh I no! Fucking, I, I got all misses there. I can't believe that. All right, anyways, and here's my pride. Come on, come on, pride. Oh, barely six, one <laughs> one <laughs> otherwise Damn you would have lost your pride dude i know i got one <laughs> one one damage no it's two right because you're short bow uh doesn't your short part do one no i think it's just one i think it does one the short bow doesn't do got, any damage oh got one just one damage that's it, yeah jesus yeah, it doesn't give me a bonus. It is a piece so. of shit weapon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long bow. It's not a long bow. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. So you you sink that arrow deep into her side. She yeah. she coughs a big gout of blood, staggers mm-hmm. back. She's still on her feet, but she is on death's door, basically. Turns and looks at you and just hisses. Oh, whatever. I'm in near range. Come at me. All right. <laughs> That's my turn. Stas. I um one of them is pretty hurt, but Aslan's coming your way. Or actually has passed you probably. They go go in the opposite direction. Yeah, yeah he's going the other way. <laughs> but now, now I'm really confused. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's shouting over his shoulder at them. <laughs> uh right. Like a school marm. Yeah. <laughs> Evidently. Oh god. I can't even throw my hand axe. Is it not throwable? Arm's length. Hmm. I am. Um, shoot. I will run back. I'll run back. Are you sure about back. the about not being able to throw it with knives? I know you have to look at a different range. range. Arm's yeah. length. But that's on the, from the melee table, right? Well, I, I guess. It needs to be a throwing axe. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So, I uh If you wanted to throw it, I would let you. I'd probably take one die away or something like that cuz it's not uh, balanced properly, but if you, you know, it's up to you. Fine. Still got another one to contend with and then I'll be weaponless. You're, uh, yeah, your your call, man. I will shoot. I'll throw it at the one that's wounded. Okay. What do you take want? Take one die do? away. Straight agility or? Uh, no, you can roll the weapon. I'll roll the weapon and then. Yep. But take one, okay. take a one away for it being unbalanced. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's. And you can push that if you need to. That might as well. How, 
Well, okay. Yeah, you got no. You got no. Negatives. I know. I don't have anything to lose, but there's oh, a six. Awesome. There. there. Boom. And uh, yeah, that that would have been like marksmanship too. So if you would have damaged yourself, that wow. would have been to your agility, not your strength, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, in any in any case, I think your maybe your hatchet, uh, your hand axe doesn't it's not a perfect like end over end and then but it it, it does brain her right <laughs> the ball <laughs> hits her right in the head boom and she just goes down in a flutter of wings and talons and blood collapses onto the ground a couple of mewling shrieks and she lays there dying after you've is either is it one damage or two two yeah she's down nice uh and that takes us to garm right round four yeah. so there's just the one that's up in the air now there's the one in the air uh i'm gonna reach down and grab the hand x or the th- yeah hand x yep. yep um and then i'm gonna move well i guess what action is it to reach down and grab that probably a fast action right okay since it's a fast action to draw or knock an arrow Uh, nope, I don't. I like do when that. I say stuff like that, and I see four GMs going, "Man, that's what I probably make the call as too." Right. All four of you were like, "Yeah, that's about right." Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even use item as a fast action. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty tight um, action economy. Yeah, I was going to grab it and run back to you, but then I'm at a then I can't dodge. Throw uh, it at her. You could grab it. Two fast actions. You could grab it and then run it back. But I then, yeah, throw it out. SOL after that. Yeah. I could do this again. Yeah, no, I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab it off the ground and I'm going to run back towards Stoss with the handle out. I'm holding the axe head to hand it to him. <laughs> okay. It's like a relay four, four by 100. He's got relay another there. axe. He's got another axe. Oh, okay. Right. You do? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't, have, but I don't have axes. another axe. Who has another I thought you axe? Had, I thought you one. had two. Why would you, I have another two axes? <laughs> you got two For hands, situations dude. like this? <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a fighter guy. I just got one. That's all mm-hmm. I need. Okay. I thought for sure. I thought you had two. Okay. No, I got a knife. Uh, I figure I'll, I'll grab, get the axe to you. I can't attack it anyway because it's way up in the air. And I da- damaged my agility a crap done earlier. So, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you retrieve right. it and then you basically fall back. Right. Yep. Kind of okay. looking to see if anybody's going to, if we're going to flee or if we're going to keep fighting. See what she's going to do, I guess. Indeed. Already lost two of her sisters. Yep. And on that note, uh, she lands. Oh, he kind of crouches. And have done that. moves almost all on like on all fours over to where her sister is lying, like mewling and gurgling and croaking and dying. <laughs> and she kind of is down with her and looks up and just kind of hisses. <sighs> she scoops up her sister, turns and starts heading for the beach. She's taking her away. And I think Ascalon, you are the person who is technically first to react to seeing this uh, i'll stop do? i will stop running since she's running away from us um god <clears throat> i will i'll draw my um my dagger and then move back towards where the rest of the group is okay <laughs> yeah, or clumping up. <laughs> do I do I need to keep it in combat rounds? Is anybody going to go after her? You're going to let her go? Hell no. Hell. Okay. We got our XP. We don't need it. We don't need to kill her for any incentive. <laughs> All right. So the the four of you kind of gather, breathless, bleeding, battered amongst the trees, and you can see her get to the edge of the lake. She grabs her other down sister as well. Tries to figure out a way to grab the head. She's kind of not not quite sure what to do with the head and the two bodies. Here's a sack. 
<laughs> it's a problem she eventually, only having two opposing limbs. Yeah, I got only got thumbs, not two limbs. Yep. So she ends up carrying her her dying sister in one ta- in one big talon, and her other sister's head in the other, and she takes off. <laughs> and starts fluttering into the air. We can cut right here and pick up next week. Yep. Bye, harpy woman. <laughs> right. <laughs> Garm slumps against a tree. Yeah. You see him as he goes oh. down. There's that blood streak still on the tree. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Dude, that doesn't look good. Did any of us not get damaged in that fight? You see it. Khan, you see his eye? <laughs> Dude, that not look good. Oh, that's news. right. You would have been I at minus be, two to throw will, the axe anyway. I yeah, will be bad. there's a reason I wasn't throwing the axe. Oh, that, that's <laughs> I would have had I'm one sorry. die. <laughs> yep. What was that, Wayne? Uh, yeah. I was like, that's damn smart. I'll, I'm gonna I will bandage him. I will bandage uh Garm first. But hey, uh it doesn't look too bad. It's just not <laughs> it looks all right. You'd be all right, man. It's all good. Oh good God, what is that? Probably feels worse than it is, like Garm. You know. I'm used to terrible injuries. I I hope I get a good st- Gar to remind myself how to fight monsters versus humanoids. <laughs> That's right. My shield is useless. <laughs> yep. That's what I'm learning. I uh I do path of lies on him. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Do, you'll, do you'll tell. Be f- yeah, you'll be fine. So I <laughs> I'm a master liar. <laughs> well, it must be fine. Yeah. It looks yeah. great. You're fine. Uh it's only speaking to a NPC. <laughs> Path of lies. All right, guys. Did you participate in the game session? Hells to the yes. Did you travel through <laughs> at least one hex? Yes. Did you discover? Did Did you discover a new adventure site? Mm. Uh, yes. Does the village count? Maybe we didn't get there. But you didn't get there. We didn't I'll go there. Did you defeat one or more monsters? Yes. Yes. Hell yes. yes. You did. Did you find a treasure? Mm-mm. No, I guess the hands function? don't count. The hands don't count. <laughs> build a function in your stronghold. Did you activate your pride? So when you did that, yep. okay. Did you suffer from your dark secret? Don't think so. No. Uh, did you risk your life for another PC? I don't think there was a moment when that happened particularly. Was there? It was more desperate, everybody for themselves kind of stuff. And did you perform an extraordinary action of some kind? Uh, Garm took a Garm did stood our, up from it. Uh, yeah, I think our orc maybe almost lost his eye. And yeah, hey, yeah, I think that counts. I think I vote for that. I would agree. So it sounds like between yeah. three and four experience. Perfect. Good. Good. All right. Enjoy the nice. session. Hopefully. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely. Great stuff, Harrigan. Thank you. <laughs> Tough fights are always hard because it's like you want to be like, oh, that that really sucked. But it's like, not that it sucked. It was challenging. I don't know. I enjoyed that. Makes you think differently. This, this has been a Litterbox, Litterbox Studio production. production.